DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that'll help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet five bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and see code Shannon. New customers can bet just five bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code Shannon. The crown is yours. Ooh, 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 I told you. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 route runner extraordinaire, <laughs> ring of fame, bingo <laughs> legend. Ooh, I told you this. I've been trying to tell you this about your Cowboys, Ocho, but you ain't want to listen to me. You ain't want to listen to me. We're going to get to them in a minute. Thank you for joining us again <laughs> for another episode of Nightcap. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are now officially at 788,000 subscribers, and we could not have done it without you. So we want to thank each and every one of our 788,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much from your favorite unk and your favorite number 85. Please make sure you so, subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. We also have a, a Club Shay Shay podcast feed, but Nightcap has its own special feed that you can get Nightcap. Please make sure you hit that subscribe and like button so therefore... Ocho and I sometimes, like we did last week, we might just pick a random night because there's so much going on and we want you to be notified. Therefore, you won't miss a single, single episode of Nightcap Unk and Ocho. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. The holiday, Valentine's Day, that's a very special day. Make sure you go out and get your man a bottle of Shea by Laportier. Uh, We got Valentine's Mm -hmm. Day. We got the Super Bowl. We got uh, uh, President's Day. Um... We got, what, St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, and I'm sure we got some birthdays out there. So please go out and get yourself a bottle for you or someone that you love. Ocho, I don't want to waste any time because I want to get to these games. And one of them was a doozy, and the other one was a laugher. The Lions hold on and beat the Rams, get their first playoff win in 32 years. The Lions hosting their first playoff game in 30 years, snap the longest longest postseason win drought. Guess what? And they're going to get another another one this week because they're going to face the winner mm-hmm. of the Tampa Philly. No yeah. one worker for Stafford. All you heard booze from the Detroit crowd when he took the field before and after the game, he played well, but it was not enough. Ocho, what were some of the things that you took away from this ball game? Listen, I really enjoyed the ball game. I really enjoyed the ball game as opposed to what we had to endure the first time, <laughs> the first time around four thirty. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this, this was, this was an offensive clinic. This was an off in the clinic, damn near all four quarters. Damn near all four quarters. Stafford looked good. Golf looked good. They moved the ball up and down the field. I thought it was going to be a 40-point game for me from mm-hmm. each team. You know, we, we didn't get we didn't get that high. We were damn near there. Puka Nakua went crazy. Brother, wait, let me make sure. I don't want to say, I don't, I don't want to say the name wrong. Amon St. Brown went crazy. Josh Renner went crazy. Obviously, the Lions coming out with the win today. I'm happy for golf. I'm happy for the culture shift in which the Lions have been able to do. Well, not the Lions. In which Dan Campbell has been able to do since he's gotten there. For a coach to be able to to change change a culture and turn it into a winning culture in in such a short amount of time, is unbelievable what he what he's been able to do. He was just talking about biting kneecaps not too long ago. 
Now we talk about we in the playoffs after a 32 year hiatus. Right. Man, some good football was played. Very today, good man. football from both sides. I, I know, I know, I know the Rams lost. But I'm just saying, there was some good football played today in that second goddamn Matthew game. Matthew Stafford was 25 of 36, 350, 367, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Jerry Goff was 22 of 27, 277, one touchdown. As you mentioned, Puka, uh, uh, Puka Nakua had 10 targets, nine receptions, a buck 81, which is the most receiving yards mm. in, a, in a game, in a postseason game by a rookie. Uh, Amon St. Brown mm. had nine targets, a buck 10 on seven catches. Yeah, they could have called holding. I thought they were gonna call holding on that last one on that third down. He held him all the way yeah. through it, Ocho. He got away with one. He, he did. did a great job. Because he did. He got, he offhand, got, go ahead. He got away. With it. No, I'm just gonna say he got away with it. Go ahead. You, yeah, he, got, and I thought I thought they were gonna call it. I don't know what uh, uh, the commentators. I know uh, it was an NBC game, so I'm assuming it was Collinsworth and uh, Tariko on the call. I want it'd have been interesting to hear what the, uh, uh, what Collinsworth thought. But I thought he grabbed him. I thought he held him throughout the uh, uh, throughout the call, which would have given them a first down had they made the call. Right. And who knows? That's a first down. Right. Maybe you get another a couple few extra yards. Now you get a, a try for right. a field goal, and maybe uh, Detroit has to come down and get a field goal or a touchdown to beat you. But that was a very well played game. I mean, uh, yeah, you got to give the Lions credit because they've been waiting for this moment because this is a team now. Just what five years ago, six years ago, what they were zero and sixteen mm -hmm. at one point. Oh, and 16, Ooh, yeah. you lost Ooh, yeah. all your games. Yeah. Lost all of them. <laughs> and now right. here they are with a – hey, you got another game, you got a divisional game at home. Mm -hmm. I can imagine it's going to be – it's going to be – if you thought it was loud and raucous for this wild card game, can you imagine right. you one win away That's from me. an NFC championship game? That's crazy. Who would have thought this? That's crazy. You made this move, Matthew Stafford. You say, you know what, Matthew? Hey, we'll, we'll grant you. You know, we'll give you an opportunity to move on. We're going to take Jerry Goff and look at what they parlayed this in. You get a, a, a Jamison Williams in the draft. You get a, 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 a Gibbs in the draft. You you parlayed mm -hmm. that in some nice pieces. And so now mm -hmm. every, everybody's benefited. The Rams like what they got. They won a Super Bowl. The right. Lions like what they got. They got a nice nucleus around Jared Goff, who's playing really good football. And as long as he stays clean, the Lions will be oh, yeah. fine. If he, they get into trouble when he turns the ball over mm -hmm. Ocho, and they're not over. Oh. They're, they're not going to be able to overcome that because the teams are going to get better, better as you go mm -hmm. along. But give the Lions credit; they mm -hmm. played really well. The Rams had a great season, um, but it ended in Detroit. Matthew Stafford did not get the homecoming, the win in the homecoming game that he thought he would. But he, I thought he played exceptional. He took some shots, and the, the way he threw the ball, to, man, can he throw the ball or what? People, I, I like what – go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. I know you're going to like, go ahead. I like – there's a term that I hear Jay Cutler use all the time. He's a great ball spinner. <laughs> yes. He's a great ball spinner. And both of them, both of them have fabulous arms, the mechanics, the, the arm angles, the ability to throw off balance, to be able to adjust based on – with arm angles, depending on who's in front of them, if there's somebody draped over the receiver, they could put in in a certain position where only the receiver can catch it. Uh, really nice. Really nice. You watch Matthew Stafford and you watch him throw the ball. He can throw the ball over the top. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he dropped down. He throws it three quarters. Mm -hmm. He'll throw a completely sard arm. Mm -hmm. And you like the one he threw to uh, uh, the little receiver who caught. I mean, there was no separation. Two, two, and he two, caught, two, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. He Ocho, they're yeah. not. They, they're not. Guarantee you, they're mm -hmm. not five quarterbacks that could have made that throw, that throw in, that like that. in that tight window right there right. than what Matthew Stafford did. Mm -hmm. And hold and like up. I said, he hold can up. flat out spin the football. Hey, did you see the no look? The no look pass a couple times when he he was he threw to the flat. He threw to mm -hmm. the he threw to the flat, but was looking straight ahead. Yes, slick. The, his I mean, straight. look, we we've seen far throw no looks. But mm -hmm. what must impress me is that this man threw a no look in the Super Bowl <laughs> with the when the chips on oh, the A. Yeah. Cross the middle. Could, yes! the middle of the field. The yeah, way I he hit Cooper that. Cup with on the third down. Yeah, I remember that play. I remember they that. They rolled play. a safety down and he had to look mm -hmm. him off. He's like, I ain't go. <laughs> I ain't going there. And, yeah. and, and but he was he was impressive. They couldn't get a stop to get the uh, uh to get him the ball back. Give uh, uh give the Lions offense credit. The Lions yeah. offense, they did a 
because you know we can't give you the ball back in this situation. Mm -hmm. Because if we give you the ball back, there's a chance you're going to get the ball, the momentum, because now you have the momentum, and right. you're probably going to go down and kick a field goal or at least an attempt a field goal with a chance to win the ball game. Mm -hmm. And so give the Lions credit. Give Dan Campbell credit, that team, because they've come a long way. Now Detroit seems to be like a destination mm -hmm. uh, where free agents would want to go because go. they're winning. The culture, yeah, yeah you know, a. Hey, you, you know, you got to have the right mentality to play for him mm -hmm. now, right? Because he's right. a he's a blue collar, hard nosed, mm -hmm. grind type of a coach, right? So, hey, you know what you're getting in when you go to Detroit because Detroit is blue collar. They hey, they they car factories up there. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it's right. hard up in Detroit, right? And that's the type of team that he's built. Uh, those guys believe in him. Jared Goff has uh, uh, Armand St. Brown. Uh, hey. he didn't make the Pro Bowl, but he showed hey. you why he's a first team All Pro. All Pro, yeah. Most definitely. Do you, you. do you think? Let, let me let me ask you a question. Do you think, as 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 players, what would matter to you more? What do you think players value more? Being going to going, being an All Pro or going to the Pro Bowl? What do you? I rather I rather I rather be an All Pro. Okay. And personally, because you remember Ocho, they don't go to Hawaii anymore. They go oh, to yeah. Orlando or they go yeah. to Vegas, and it's not the game anymore. It's a skills yeah. competition. Yeah, so, it's the same. Uh, look, okay. I, and I don't want people to take this the wrong way because people are like, well, Sheridan said the Pro. It's a huge honor, but yeah. a lot of the luster has gone mm -hmm. because yeah. you're not growing to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Going to Orlando, what the hell is that? You used to, <laughs> Ocho used to want to go, man, I'll get me a Mai Tai. I'm going to get me yeah. a blue of wine. I'm going to be drinking right. out of pineapple. Right. So you got an opportunity to take your significant other, your wife, mm -hmm. or your family. Mm -hmm. You go yeah. across to, uh, to Hawaii. You get an opportunity yeah. to relax for a week. Yeah. Hell, you'll go to Orlando anytime. Yeah, yeah. You'll what go to mean? Vegas anytime. Yeah, I, I don't think players will, will, will fully understand the no. joy and the pleasure no. it was to actually make the Pro Bowl and what an honor it was to make the Pro yeah. Bowl back during that time when we yes. were playing. Listen, mm -hmm. you think about that 10-hour flight, depending yep. on where you're coming from, or maybe maybe if you're already on the West Coast, you still got five hours ago. Yes. Your family, your friends, being in Hawaii, the culture, <laughs> the experiences, the traveling, the uh, the traveling, the sightseeing, some of the things you have to do, and you get to take a part in being over in Hawaii for for a whole week. And then you have the game on the back end. Listen, right. it was it was it was it was an experience like no other in an honor. You know, and when you made the Pro Bowl back then, like, oh man. And it used to, Ocho, you remember now, it used to be um the Pro Bowl was played after the Super Bowl. So right. a lot of times teams the, right. the guys that made it, they were only mm -hmm. coming off the Super Bowl, or right. sometimes they were the guys that lost the Super mm -hmm. Bowl. Right. And so a lot of times guys had appearances at the Super Bowl. So a lot mm -hmm. of the guys that was playing in the game was coming from the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. And and yeah. so, you know, a lot of times guys would get there early with their family. They might check in a day early or something mm -hmm. like that just to get an opportunity to relax. Mm -hmm. And then by the time, you know, we arrived, you know, I, I would like if I wouldn't actually play in the game, obviously, I would arrive. But guys would already be there with their family and they'd be mm -hmm. sitting around uh, watching the watching the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was it was it, it, it was a great. But I do. I, I agree. Ocho, I think the, the all pro. Is, is a bigger honor. Right. And I think because the game is no longer played uh in Hawaii mm -hmm. and the luster, Ocho. I, I get it. It's a but they had they had they had to do away with the game because it wasn't a game, it wasn't tackle football anymore. It was yeah. an embarrassment. Yeah. And I told the guys and I said, look, I know oh man, you no, bro, I'm not old school, but it's tackle football. Yeah. You can't just touch the guy on the butt mm -hmm. and then talk about the guy. Stop. Right. That's Are not you, football. You, matter of fact, when you think about it, you think about this. I'm thinking about the time when I played. I remember myself, Steve McNair, Peyton Manning, uh, uh, Ray Lewis, a couple of the fellas used to think the way the game is played now, it was somewhat like that a little bit. But we play serious. We thudding. Yeah. We thudding. But um, what we hit that fourth quarter? Yes. And Ray Lewis say, man, listen, it's money time. It's go time. Yes. Man, we need that money because we got to cover the expenses. Right. That we didn't have for the week we've been here. Yes. Oh man, man, man! People started playing, started playing serious. Well, we talked about playing serious. We won, we won bullshit. But that Ocho, fourth but, quarter of the Pro Bowl back then. But the man, money Sean had Taylor, gotten. Sean Taylor coming down here. <laughs> oh yeah, we hit the pub bribe a uh, Mormon. What? But see what happened, Ocho, is that the money increased. All of a sudden, it was twenty five, fifty. I think fifty, seventy five thousand. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I for like my damn near my whole career, it was ten thousand to the winners. It was five thousand to the losers. That's it. So, but that was it. Damn. That was it. That was it, Ocho. That was it. And like you said, you know, everybody, you know, hey, you, 
ain't nobody trying to get embarrassed now. Right, so don't right, be going right. out there trying to uh, run right. Hey, somebody knock knock you, you know what, in the dirt. <laughs> So right, right, don't right. be out there trying to embarrass no uh, someone because they're gonna get you now. Mm-hmm. But come fourth quarter, yeah. you automatically knew it's go time. Button your chin strap yeah. up, it's tie your time. shoulder pads up. It's go hey, time, guys, guys <laughs> trying to get paid. Oh yeah, guys, hey, guys, oh, yeah. hey, like you said, guys had incurred expenses. They had mm-hmm. brought family members over there. That room yeah. is two hundred dollars a night. You got about six or seven people at two hundred dollars a night, and you feeding them. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. got to recruit some of that money. Yeah, some. I got to recruit some of that money, but it was a, it was a great time to get yeah. an opportunity to sit around, talk mm-hmm. football, and get an opportunity to meet and hang out with guys that mm-hmm. we normally wouldn't get an opportunity to hang out with and right. sit around and talk with. Mm-hmm. It's not like it is now. I mean, these guys now they're a lot more guys socialize a lot more in right. today's game mm-hmm. than what they did back then. Well, obviously, you know, having social media also bridged the gap and made it a lot easier yeah. for mm-hmm. you not to have to be face to face. So even if yeah. you don't see each other during, I mean after football season or during football season, listen, social media bridges the gap anyway, so you're always right there in somebody's face regardless, even though it's right. via social media. Yep. Jerry Goff is the first quarterback to ever win a playoff game against a team he previously started a playoff mm-hmm. game for. Mm. So Jerry mm. Goff should be uh, – he should be – I'm sure he's proud because he said it, it wasn't that he ended up because both were number one picks, yep. Stafford for Detroit, mm-hmm. Jerry Goff for the Rams, it's not that it was how it was done. And even Sean McVay said it could have been handled better. Right. But at the end of the day, Ocho, and this is what I always tell people, when you're trying to break up with someone and that mm-hmm. person doesn't want to break up, what's the easy way to do it? There mm-hmm. is none. Jared Goff didn't want to be traded. He didn't right. want to leave L.A. Mm-hmm. So what's the easier way to tell him, son, we, don't, we, want, we think we, can, we are better without you? You tell your significant other. Mm-hmm. Ray will tell you, oh, mm-hmm. Joe, I, I think I could be better with someone else. Ain't no easy way to say that. Nah, ain't no easy way. <laughs> so, you know, and, and he's like, you know, the chip will never leave me. And Sean mm-hmm. McVay saying, you know, hey, you know, we could have handled that situation better. Mm-hmm. I just don't know of an easier way to tell someone you don't want them anymore. Yeah. If if chat, if you can chime in and say what's an easier way when you want said individual. Now, mm-hmm. if both of y'all don't want each other, it's easy to go. He yeah. said, well, it, you know, yeah. it's yeah. mutual, mutual interest. Mutual right. Interest. But but when someone still wants to be there mm-hmm. and the other party, you know, hey, you know, I just can't, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to say, you know, yeah. um, you know, things haven't been going well, and I just I appreciate everything that you've done. And mm. yeah, man, ain't nobody trying to hear that, Ocho. Like, and I can't. You can't get them years <laughs> back now. It's, it's you no. can't get them years back. And one thing you can't get back to, you can't get back time. Yeah, and yeah. I, don't, I don't like it being wasted. So basically, you wasted golf time because you couldn't you couldn't see himself getting you over the hump. Time is the but one. But it was the right decision, though, get. wasn't it? Because yes, it was the right decision Bowl. because. They won the Super Bowl. Yeah. 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 That's and you look tough, at Stafford. Man. Ocho, look at Stafford. Mm-hmm. He got the all time most receiving yards in a single season with right. Calvin Johnson. Right. He got the triple crown. I believe if you look at Cooper Cup's regular mm-hmm. season, combined mm-hmm. it with the playoffs, playoffs, it's the greatest statistical season for a wide receiver season. in NFL history. History. Yeah. Then you tap in with Puka Nakua. Most receiving, most receptions in a season for a rookie, most receiving yards. Mm-hmm. For a rookie, mm-hmm. so Matthew said something. He doing something right. Yeah, yeah he listen. doing something right. He he is a, he is a spinner of the ball. He yeah, is a man, spinner of the ball. He he can he can do it. He can yeah. do it. So congratulations to the Lions. You're moving on. You mm-hmm. have another game uh, in Detroit. Yeah, you get the winner of the Philadelphia Eagles and the D- Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, uh, they have to feel good because think about it. They was like, man, after they lost that game to Dallas. They mm-hmm. drop from the second to the third seed. Right. And like, hey, we win this game. Dallas is going to do what they do. We're going to have to go on the road, either go to San Francisco or go to Dallas. Mm-hmm. Lo and behold, you never know, Ocho. Yeah. You never know. Now they get a, they get a second game at home. Mm-hmm. You never know, Ocho. You mm-hmm. might get a third game at home, Ocho. You never know. Yeah. But but you get that NFC championship at home. Can you imagine? Oh. Can you imagine? Cowboys oh. suffer. Yeah. I, for my estimation, this is the most humiliating. This mm-hmm. is the most pathetic. This is the most embarrassing loss, playoff loss for the Cowboys. Because Ocho, at one point in time, they were down 48-16. Mm-hmm. 
Now you can look at the final score and say, man, if you didn't watch the game, you're like, oh, okay, there was only the two was, scores. Yeah, it was closer than you thought. No, it wasn't. No, yeah. it wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, remember when the Cowboys beat the Commanders on Thanksgiving, 45-10, just what Jerry said. I don't know if I've had a day like this, and I'll include them all. I'll put the Super Bowls in there. I don't know if I've had a, a better day than with the Cowboys than today. Jerry said he thinks this year's Cowboys team could go all the way to the Super Bowl. Hold on. I got more for you, Ocho. Remember, uh, Micah, in week one? We're making a statement. I've been trying to make – hold on. We're making the statement that I've been trying to make. We're the best defense in the National Football League. Today, Michael Parsons showed up in a Bobby Boucher jersey. Everybody mm -hmm. know Waterboy. Bobby yeah. Boucher wreck shop. Now, if yeah. you show up in a Bobby Boucher jersey, mm -hmm. you got a wreck shop, Ocho. Yeah. Michael Parsons has one quarterback pressure on 19 rushes, the lowest pressure rate in a game in his NFL career. Mm. Mm. The Green Bay, I kept telling you, o Ocho, I tried mm -hmm. to tell you about that defense. Yeah. I tried to tell you all year about this Cowboys team. Yeah. I said, Ocho, if that defense do not turn you over, mm -hmm. if they don't get scooping scores and pick sixes mm -hmm. and set right. that offense up, I said, the marginals, Ocho, no, man, that, man, that CD. But yeah, now, you look at the stats. Oh, they got to have great stats. You look yeah. at these stats. Hold on. Let me get, hold on. Let me pull this up here. I got to get. Oh, that threw for 400 yards, CD. Yeah. Look at what the, how many yards they had when the score was six minutes left in the ball game mm -hmm. and the score was 48-16. What right. did Dak have? Empty yeah. calories. Yeah. <laughs> you when you eat empty calories, you get fat. Mm. You get fat. It's and tough. Go look at, yeah. It's oh, tough. Aaron yeah. Jones had two rush touchdowns all year. He had three in one game. Yeah. It is 21 it's, for a buck 18. Ran through them, went through them like farm water through a tourist. Yeah, you know what happens when you go out of the country and you drink water, Ocho. What happened? Yeah, <clears throat> oh, it, it, it get it runs. Mm -hmm. It get it runs. Any matter of fact, that's how Aaron Jones any, went through them. Anytime you go to Mexico, they tell you the first thing to do: don't drink the water. Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> Listen, tonight, I even asked myself after watching the game, um, the law, the loss in itself. I felt bad for Cowboys fans. Oh no, I don't. Oh no. I felt, I, I felt bad because every year, stay with me, baby. Every year it's the same thing. It's the same thing. This is our year. The regular season goes beautiful. Uh, you win some of the games you're supposed to win. Okay, you have a few slip ups, but then you get back on track and it puts all the fans in a in a in a position of 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 hope. Then you have Jerry Jones. Then you have Jerry Jones. He's always coming out. He's always at the forefront. He's always the focal point of, of everything that's going on. He does all the talking for the team. He knows the injuries. He reports who's going to play, who's not going to play. I mean, this is the best team we've ever had. I think part of the problem is Jerry in 28 years. They haven't won. They haven't mm -hmm. won. They've had great seasons the past 20 years. But for some reason, Jerry Jones always being at the forefront, always being the focal point of the team. We know you're the owner. How about just taking a backseat for a change? Mm -mm. How about no. taking a backseat for a change and taking some of the pressure, the endured pressure that the team already going to have because they got the star on their helmet. We don't need you adding fuel to the fire. Just allow them boys to go out there and just play. I'm not saying that's the reason why they lost. I'm just saying, Jerry, let's try a different approach. He done tried change. everything. Let's try a he different after, after, for a change. After he done been nasty to Jimmy, talking about he going to put him in, he'll put who he want in the ring of fame when he want to. He right. tried to change the mojo. He put Jimmy Johnson in the ring of fame, trying mm -hmm. to change the mojo. Didn't right. work. Right, right, right. Oh, trying to change the, the karma. Yeah. The karma. You, you got, know you why gotta, you had bad you karma? Got, you you got to always do right by people. Always. always do right. And Mike always. McCarthy did not do right by Kellen Moore. Oh, oh, I want to call the plays. Play, we right. gonna run the ball more. We mm -hmm. gonna run the ball. Mm -hmm. You look worse this year than you did last. The last two years with Kellen Moore calling the plays. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't run the football. You didn't run the football. All, and the defense. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so. Oh, this pressure defense. I keep mm -hmm. telling you, you yeah. play that nickel defense with those safeties playing like linebackers. Mm -hmm. They ain't got enough bricks in their back pocket. So yeah. when them guards dig up on them. And mm -hmm. those tight ends get on those little small ass like those linebackers mm -hmm. that safeties really. Mm -hmm. You see what's happening? Yeah. Aaron yeah. Jones getting eight, nine, ten yards a clip. Carry, yeah. That's what happened. You better have somebody that can drop anchor. Yeah. I mean, listen, we saw it when they played the Bills. We saw it when they played the Cardinals. 
You how thought they when successful? they played the 49ers. When they played the 49ers. How, how you were thought those when they played successful? the Eagles. When the Eagles, yeah. Running the ball. Running the mm-hmm. ball. I mean, we talk about, we're not talking about the outside. We talk about straight right downhill. Right, right down downhill. Hill. Because de- defensively, they are a little undersized. They're a little, under, they're a little undersized. Sideline to sideline. Oh, man, they run yes. with you all day. Like a four-by-one team. Like a four-by-one track team. They run with you all day. Mm-hmm. But t- ahead, tonight, tonight, listen, Take tonight's off. loss. To, it was, it was, it was. I hate using the word pathetic. It's beautiful. I hate saying that. I hate saying it was, it was, it was humiliate, humiliating. I hate saying that. And I'm one. It's, 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 it's hard for me to do because you know how I am. I even tweeted when the game got out of the hand. I say, Twitter, can y'all please find a reason? Give me something. Give me an idea because I know I'm gonna go crazy on the Cowboys. Yeah. Is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can say to defend what the fuck they put out there today? No. There was nothing. 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 So I I have no choice. My back is against the ball. And it pains me to have to say that shit was embarrassing. Yeah. For, 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 for us. And I'm a as a football fan, as a former player, because I thought this was our year. Look at I'm saying our year, like I'm part of the Cowboys. Yeah. Yes, I'm a, I'm a fan of football, so I thought mm-hmm. it was their year. I was excited. I was excited. I, I'm ready for Dak the motherfucking get to the goddamn promised land and get all these motherfuckers off his back. God, I mean, y'all forgive me for cursing. Y'all stay with me for a little bit now because I'm upset. I thought it was. Why are you year. upset? Huh? I've been prepared. Ocho, you see what I'm saying? I prepared you this. See, like you said, you want financial literacy. You want people to listen to you when you give them advice. Right, you right. want people to take your advice. Right. I've been preparing you this for but 19 weeks. I wanted him to prove you wrong. I want I wanted Dak and that team and that offense and that defense to prove you wrong. I wanted Dak and that team and that offense to prove every naysayer wrong. I wanted I to prove it. Stephen A. Smith wrong. And at times it looked good throughout the season. At times it looked good. There were there, there were some slip ups. There were some stalls. There was a, but I said, you know what? Come hella hot water, come playoff time. I guarantee you, it was going to be a different Cowboys team. Oh, Joe. listen, the first series, something was off. The first year, the energy, the body language. Yeah, what's up? Look- Green Bay was knee deep in them. That's what was up. <laughs> Green Bay got the ball and went right down the field. Do you, Ocho, do you know how demoralizing it is when the right. base of your team is the defense and a mm-hmm. young team that averaged 24 years of age right. gets the football and go right and stick right down the field? Them? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey. You got the football. Ocho, think about it. You mm. win the toss. Yeah. You defer. Deferred. Yeah, you defer. So why you defer? You say, I want my dogs out there. The defense. Jordan Love said, give me all you got. <laughs> Jordan Love said, give me all you got. Whatever you got, give me, give me some of that. I keep telling people all along. See, people laugh when I say the Cowboys are like Duke freshman hoopers. One and done. Ooh. That's what they are. You know, you go to Duke and you're a basketball player, you right. one and done. You got to be good. Zion, you got- Kyrie, Tatum, yeah, got- Ingram, yeah. they, they yeah. one and done. You got to be that boy. Yeah. Yeah. Cowboys come to the playoff time, one mm-hmm. and done. Yeah. They do you know all what? that yapping. Yeah. They, like what uh, take you to church or T Pain Church? Yeah. Man, they need they are, they out of this is embarrassing. Yeah. They had a they got a faulty water hung on them. A sprinkle me. Oh my time. Almost 50 burger, huh? At home. Almost oh, a 50 burger. Oh, you remember? <laughs> We won 16 straight at home. Uh-huh. We score 50. We score 127 mm-hmm. points a game at home. Yeah. Man. I, I, I thought Green that's Bay what said, we, what that got to do with us? The, yeah, I thought that's what we were going to get tonight. I really thought that's what we were going to get tonight. I was board, I was boarding my plane, 430. I, I tell you no lie. I was leaving Atlanta. I said, baby, this is going to be the motherfucking day where that star on the helmet shut everybody up. So I was ready. I'm excited for nightcap. I'm excited for nightcap because I know I'm going to be able to fire back at um, I know I'm going to be able to fire back at everybody that says something negative about the Cowboys. As a fan, I wanted this for Dak. As someone on the outside looking in, and I understand what he has to deal with because it's America's team. I remember Mikai Parsons, Michael Parsons complaining earlier. Why y'all always on Dak head? Why y'all always talk about him? Nah, we on you your head, not Michael. Now, now, now we, you got all these other quarterbacks out here. Y'all don't treat y'all don't treat them the same way y'all treat Dak. Now you have a better understanding on why. Okay. Now you have a better understanding on why because for one, you got your owner that won't get out the team. Bumping his gums. Always bumping his gums. And I, got, I hear people talk about, well, yeah, yeah, maybe they need to go get Bill Belichick. You think Bill Belichick, he don't even let his own players talk. You think he's going to come to that madness over there? No. Where he have no power 
and Jerry Jones going to relinquish the power so he can build a team that he needs to to be adequate and compete week in and week out, especially in the playoffs, so this doesn't happen again? Probably not. Them young boys was cooking. I don't care who the DBs were, whatever side they line up on. Yeah. Romeo Dobbs said, give me him. Yeah. Krispy Kreme one side. They said, we got all the Krispy Kremes you want on one mm -hmm. side, barbecue chicken on the other. Yeah. Re yeah, Dobbs, Watson, you know, uh, yeah. Reed, Reed, Melton. And you know what the funny thing Cooking. is about when you're young, when you're young like that, when you're young like Jordan Love, when you're, and you're young like that, so that, uh, that supporting can Jordan, Jordan Love has to work with. Yeah. Listen, we ain't even supposed to be here to begin with, and we ain't got nothing to worry about, so we just go out, go out here and play free. You know what mm -hmm. it feels like to play free? To have no worries. Hell, we ain't supposed to be here any goddamn well. It's no different than the motherfucking Texans. With a pressure. We have nothing to lose. We're not supposed to be here anyway. So mm -hmm. it's easy to go out there and just play free. Free will, nothing to worry about, and just have fun. Because at the end of the day, it's still football. On the other side, on the flip side of things, the Cowboys, look what all that comes with. Wow. Why, why Offensively, why do they look so different today? Off the, off the rip. The first series. Something was off. Everybody body language. You could tell something was off. Mm -hmm. CD that and God that Dak. pressure. Listen, CD and Dak, they always in sync, especially off the rip. Look at the numbers they put up the five, the past five, six yes! weeks together. But all of a sudden, the night is different in the game where it matters the fucking most. Oh, Joe. Oh, God, that, forgive me. I keep cursing. I'm, my bad. My bad. Oh, I'm Joe. Sorry. I know because you hurt. You hurt. You want. You want to come in here. You want to get on. Oh, oh. Yeah. you want to come in here. Uh, 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 look at yeah, uh, I, I did. I ain't got no leverage. I ain't got no leverage. No, no, no. You don't. And they knew. And I knew it. That pressure. You see what happens when you play at home. The only difference is that when you play at home and you lose, you got eighty five thousand fans leaving that stadium. Mm. And you see, they wanted home field. We the number two seed. Okay, mm -hmm. so now what you gonna do with it? They get the ball and go down the field and score on you. Right. Uh oh. You punt. Mm -hmm. They get the ball and go back down the field. Uh oh. Damn. Now all of a sudden they get the ball and go down again. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. And then we know when that when they go that motion and they run that try to run that three by one, mm -hmm. we know that first guy gonna go through and that gonna try to hit CD. Yeah. Savage passed it off. Say I ain't even worried about you throwing the yeah. Brandon Cook. Because on yeah. film, I've never seen you throw him that slant route yeah. from the slot. You throw yeah. the CD, you throw the, the second guy. He yeah. passed it off, and boop, boop. He came and got it. Came and uh, got hello, it. how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to have a reservation for six. Uh, <laughs> what time will you be arriving? <laughs> I'm pulling up right now. <laughs> to the house he went. Yeah. Hey, listen, oh, it hurt. They're, they're that, very smart. Very smart on Savage's part. Listen, that, that ain't nothing but film study, understanding formation, and route recognition and knowing what's coming. Because he sat right in between the one and the two. Yes. He could have he could have went with Brandon Banks right away. He chose he Cook. let it go. Bra being yes. nosy like a goddamn robber and came on down. He beat CD to the goddamn ball. Right. Because here's the thing, Ocho. On film, I've never seen you throw Brandon Cooks to why would you throw a five foot six or slant over the middle? Right. I know you're trying to clear. So that you have the bigger window for mm -hmm. the bigger receiver coming yeah. in behind. Coming in behind you, yeah. Savage, pretend like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. No, I'm not. I think I'll just stay right here and wait. Mm -hmm. And that's that, that's tough, man. That's In tough. a situation like that, Ocho, just don't drop it. Right. Because the, the, ball the ball's coming. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do what you haven't done all year. And all year, what have they done in a situation like that? Throw the ball to CD. Yeah, throw the number two every time. Actually, they shouldn't even got a touchdown. Because DeAndre Campbell dropped another pick. Dak should have had three picks right before the half. Yeah. He undercut Jake Ferguson and dropped it. Mm -hmm. And Matter then fact, on the fourth down, the mm -hmm. left guard moved. Move. Yeah, they didn't call it. They didn't call it. They though. didn't call it. He moved. They didn't, call it. they didn't call it. But you know who pick was nice, though? Which was some great defense. Oh, oh, hey, Jair. Boy. And I, I, tw I, tweeted, I tweeted it before the game. I say I'm, I'm curious and I'm excited about the matchup today because I wonder if Zaire and CeeDee Lamb, I wonder if he would follow <laughs> But I say I understand their strengths, and I know Zaire is really, really good in man to man and being up there and bump and run. And he showed you a small sample size of that in that bump and run play. <clears throat> excuse, but uh, it was damn near a jerk release from the outside. Damn near a jerk release, mm -hmm. and man, he was he was on that. He was on but Brandon on that. But here's the thing: Cooks is a small receiver, mm -hmm. so it's hard for him to play through contact. Right. 
Okay, you see, I, see I ju- yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. how when John here came, how he turned yeah. him. Yeah. He so did, now, did. normally a big body, you are gonna collide yeah. and everybody go this yeah. separate way, and the ball hit the hit the dirt or something. Right. Right. But Cooks is such a small receiver; it's hard for him to play through contact. Right. So he needs he needs space to operate in. Mm-hmm. You're asking an awful lot, and mm-hmm. he clued Wait, it. Listen, you see that he- that take that in shotgun. He yeah. takes two steps to pull up. You ain't running no goal belt. You ain't running no goal from there. You're running you a know slant. What, you heard what you just said? He has to, he got to, Brandon Cooks got to create the space. You got to create the space. If you're a smaller receiver, then you have to yeah. win. But what you do best, using your footwork, being able to transition, get in and out. Take Zaire Alexander somewhere he think you're going and bring his ass back on home. Somewhere right. where you're not going to be. But he wasn't able to do that. He was impatient on the route and coming back in. He Hell, he didn't sell it enough. Wasn't nobody buying that the first time. That's why Zaire was able to beat him back inside. Zaire said, I ain't buying that two for a dollar. <laughs> Second of all, Ocho, if you're in the shotgun, right. if I, if, and Jair, if you watch him, he's cluing. Mm-hmm. That gets the ball and pulls up. He ain't finna throw no go. No, he's no, going no, to no, slam it. No, I'm no. driving. Right. I'm driving. And yeah. I got a five foot, I got a five foot six, five foot seven, 170 mm-hmm. pound receiver. I'm mm-hmm. gonna play through him. Yeah. Which is what I'm he playing did. through him. Play right oh through man, him. Ocho. We broke. We got a record. We got eighty three thousand people live in the chat. Please, really? guys, if you're in the chat, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. We really Wait, appreciate we this because you know we're gonna go eighty three thousand. Listen, uh, I like to all eighty three thousand of you watching. This ain't really me. I don't curse like this. I'm I'm a little upset. I apologize for you on behalf he of is, myself upset. and my family. I'm, I apologize. I, I don't move like that. Yeah, but but see, he don't want to listen to me. I try. I pre- I try to prepare him. What I try to do, I pr- try to prepare my co-host, which is Ocho. I try to prepare him for this moment. I said, Ocho, you gonna get your hopes up every year. You turn around. This is the Cowboys. This is their best chance. What's so different about this chance? I remember when they had ten Pro Bowlers. I remember they, remember when they had Tony Romo. They had Marion the Barbarian. They had Jason Witten. They had mm. To. They had the D D Ware. They mm. had ten Pro Bowlers. So why was that? I remember when Dak, when they had, look at all the all pros. Tyron Smith is the all pro. The left guard is an all pro. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Zach Martin is an all pro. Your mm-hmm. quarterback is an all pro. C.D. Mm-hmm. Lamb is an all pro. Mm-hmm. Y'all keep telling me this is their best chance. Every year is their best chance. Nobody has drafted more pro bowlers since 2010 other than the Kansas City Chiefs. The Cow- only difference is the Kansas City Chiefs have been to three Super Bowls, one, two. The Cowboys right. ain't been to squad douche. Well, I Bo know who the- I know what the common denominator is on why things keep failing with the Cowboys. Guess who Guess who the problem is and why they keep losing? Guess the who problem. the motherfucking problem is and why they keep losing every single year? 28 years, guess who the common denominator is? All the pieces to the puzzle every year, the Cowboys play good goddamn football and get sent the fuck home in the first round. Guess who the problem is? Who? Guess who? who guess who's still there? No matter. All the players change and they you always have a Jerry? successful. Who? Jerry. Say his name loud and loud and clear. You blaming Jerry? That's the problem. Jerry Jones is the reason why nowhere. they can't get get past the first round. That's the problem. Uh uh-uh. oh. Oh no. Let's address no, 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 no. the elephant in the room. That that's no. the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that's that the, the big guy. The hold on. Wait 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 a minute. We got a guy that's second team All Pro. The quarterback, second team All Pro. Did he look like a second team All Pro? Not tonight. No. Okay. Not tonight. Then. Okay. In, in the game, no, no. In, the, in, the, in the game where it mattered most, I'm I, listen. I, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. You're right. Stay with me. I'm with you when you're right. Uh, uh, Deron Bland, he had five pick sixes. How mm-hmm. he looked today? Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. It's it's one of them days. Okay. So, some days, some days you go to work, you ain't never had a bad day at work. Whoa. Some days, some day, Listen, matter of fact, you ever study for a test? Huh? I st- I remember studying for the a- SAT. I remember, I remember studying for the SAT, and I said, I know when I go and take this test, come game time, I'm finna pass this shit. Shit, boy, when I went and took the SAT, I feel like motherfucker like a motherfucker. As much as I studied, sometimes you don't have the game you want to. Sometimes oh, it don't happen. I want, hey, listen, I had hopes and aspirations, aspirations of going to University of Miami or goddamn University of Florida or Florida State. I took the SAT, but I ended up at Lynx University, NAIA school out there in Lynx, Oklahoma. Oh, Joe, they could have get they could have gave you the answer to the SAT. You weren't <laughs> passing it. You you weren't passing that test, would you? 
You and I both, you and I both know you are passing the SAT, even with the answers. You gonna write them both holes down wrong, man. Get out of here, man. I don't know what you're talking hey, about. I was just trying to give you a good, a good analogy, a good, a good scenario. Oh, Joe, you know, in a game like this, yeah, your your big guns. What make Tom break? See, people want to say, well, Tom. Tom played big in big moments. big moments. Always. That's what makes Mahomes plays big in big moments. Mm -hmm. Right. Aaron Rodgers didn't play big enough in big moments. As right. great as he is mm -hmm. in big moments, he hasn't played well as Mahomes. Right. He right. hasn't played well as Brady. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Brady played in big moments. It's mm -hmm. hard. To, when you look at Brady, think about all the games, the playoff games that he played in. Right, right. It's hard to go back and say, you know what? You might say two or three times mm -hmm. Brady didn't have it. But right. nine times out of ten or mm -hmm. eight and a half times out of ten, mm -hmm. Brady brought his A game. And you know what? You know what? You know what the key thing is? It's not just about Brady bringing his A game because Brady can't bring his A game because everybody else got to be on point, too. Not only did Brady bring his A game, but a supporting cast during those big moments and those big times in playoffs when it mattered most, they also came through. But they you also be were on point. How many times in those big moments have those guys shown up, though? See, every Brady guys have been in those moments, mm -hmm. and right. they've shown up. Right. Seemingly, every time the Cowboys get in those big moments, they get one and done. The moments mm -hmm. seem to be too big. Right. See, that's why I keep telling y'all, stop talking about, oh, this team reminds me of the Cowboys Super Bowl. No, they don't. Yeah. No, that's no, Jerry. They don't. Who, said, who said that? Who said that? Who Jerry said that? Who said that foolishness? Who, it, so who is the common denominator every time the goddamn Cowboys get sent home that keep putting the pressure and giving us hope? Mm -hmm. I'm not even the Cowboy fan, but goddamn Jerry gave me hope. That's why I was standing on 10 about business about the Cowboys because of Jerry Jones. So yeah. Jerry let me down. He let all of us down. Stop talking. Go to the background. Be an owner. We know who owns the Cowboys. We know that. Let them boys play football without you adding all the goddamn pressure on top of them. Nah, I'm not, I'm not excusing. I'm not excusing the bullshit they put. They they showed tonight. I'm not excusing yeah. that. Yeah, uh, that's all the players. God damn, Jerry, come on, nope. man. No, nope. twenty eight years. Twenty eight. You have so, plenty times. Nope. I done saw so many coaches get fired. I done saw them fire. Uh, uh, Dan. Uh, uh, uh Garrett. Uh, Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett. I done fought, yeah. them fought, they done fired so many different coaches and right. defensive coordinators. At some point in time, mm -hmm. hold them sorry ass defensive players accountable. Okay. They gave up a 40 Walter. Yeah. 48. 48. 48. Green 40 Bay burden. went up and down the field until they put the backup quarterback in. Right. Up and down the field. Let me tell you how 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 little they thought of the Cowboys defense. On mm -hmm. fourth and two, they go for it. Right. Instead of kicking the field goal and going up what twenty seven, they say, yeah. "Nah, we gonna go at thirty five. That that was that was that was a statement. Somebody was making a statement. Somebody was making a statement. I'm not sure who the statement was to. We don't care too. about y'all because y'all do all that yapping. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all do all this talking. Ah, oh, yeah, we did. We gonna be historic. Mm -hmm. I don't know the historic defense that's giving up forty eight, forty two. Um, mm -hmm. how many points they gave up against Philly? Buffalo yeah. went up and down the field against yeah. them. I don't know what historic defense ever did that. But well, I have a question. I got an answer for a, you too. Matter of fact, chat. I I, I have a question for y'all too. So, um, you could you could you could chime in on this. Where do we go from here? Mike McCarthy has lost his job. Obviously, what, what do you say? Yes. You think about you think you you think they go fine? Man, I heard if I'm not mistaken, and don't don't get me wrong. I don't I don't have no sources. I'm the only source I know. But I I, I did read somewhere that Mike McCarthy's future depended on the outcome of this game and what they did in the playoffs. Do you think he did enough to require him to return next year? I, I think I think they got exactly where I thought they would be. I didn't expect them to go to the Super Wait, Bowl. This is I didn't this, expect, you didn't expect them to go to the Super Bowl after no. the, after the, the season they had. No, because guess what? Guess how many games they won last year, Ocho? Twelve. Ocho, guess how many games they won the year before that, Ocho? Twelve. So what was different about this year than last year? It was just one, it was 22, the other year right. it was 23, and this right. year it was 24. The only right. thing changed was the year. Nothing else changed. Your right. quarterback is the same. The players are the same. So you tell me what changed. Dan Quinn is still your defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy is still your, is your head coach on OC now. Because mm -hmm. you remember, Kelly Moore, he wanted all these flashy stats. He just wanted right. to throw the ball around. Right. Hold on. If somebody throw the ball 60 times, 
Mm-hmm. You had 60 pass attempts, 21, 23, 24, 25. You had right. 85 plays. You ran double the amount of plays at the Packers. Mm. Well, some of that, some of that was on the back end in garbage time. Though. That, that's what I know. That's but hey, you man, you know, oh, 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 empty calorie diet. See, <laughs> we on. call these, we call Come these on, a Prescottian. <laughs> we call these Prescottians. When you look up there, say, man, that man threw for four hundred yards. Go back and look and see how many yards he had when the score was 48-16. See how many only- catches and yards C.D. Lamb had when the score was 48-16. Because, see, you're going to look at this. 17- I mean, the man had 17 targets. I thought the, I thought the, man, I thought the man had a hole in his hands. Because every time Dak threw it, whoop, 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 that pressure, Ocho. Yeah. That pressure. Ooh. They got all them catches. The, expect- oh, the number one thing that kill a dream is expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and get guess who guess who put the expectations on everybody? It wasn't mm-hmm. the players, but the players you, were doing it. it wasn't you, because you believed in them. You believed in them. You and you got you yelling at me. I said, oh, Joe, why are you yelling at me? Hey, you, oh, yeah. You had me hot. You had me yeah. hot early, early in the season. I was, nigga, I was standing on business by them boys. I was saying, <laughs> now I, I have no choice. But again, to me, the common denominator in 28 years, always losing, and going home with a first round exit, regardless of who the coaches are, offensively or defensively, there's one person that's still intact that seems to be the problem on why they can get over the goddamn hump, and that's brother Jerry Jones, who can't oh, get out of oh. his way. He can't get out of his way. Air. Give me a little bit more air. I'm burning up here. <laughs> oh, Joe. So I want to know this. We keep talking about Jerry. Jerry ain't made one, he ain't threw one pass. He right. ain't made one tackle. You're he right, ain't made right. one catch, one right. interception. At what right. point in time are you going to blame them a lemon on offense and a lemon on defense? Wait, I already blamed them already. We went through that no. part already. No, no, let, 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 let's stay on them some more. We'll get oh, to Jerry in a minute. <laughs> oh, you, you want to stay on them some What about that defense? Remember, remember how when they was getting scooping scores and they celebrating? Yeah, yeah, they were looking good now. They were looking good. These young boys went and dropped the 40 water on you. Yeah, yeah. Jordan Love in his first playoff start, the first quarter. Yeah, you right. Did you see the man? That's, I, 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 I would like, I would like, I would like, a, I would have told uh, Matt LaFleur, said, nah, I got a perfect rating. Don't mess my perfect rating up. He had a 158.3 and a tight end dropped the ball and dropped it down to 157.2. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the, man perfect. the man was perfect. The man was perfect. Look at the throws mm-hmm. that he's making. Yeah. Back foot, both feet in the Whoa. air. Spe- speaking of that, speaking of that, look at, his arm angles, look at his mechanics, look at his mannerisms. Who in the hell that remind you of that used to be there? Aaron Rodgers. Said in Same. The the, I, they look yeah. fucking identical. Throwing Absolutely. off the back foot, throwing off the back foot, the arm angles, throwing over top, throwing from the side. If there's somebody in, in your way, with the in, in your vision, going, man, listen. That, touch, you, that touchdown that he threw on fourth down, did you see how he threw the ball? Yes. He yeah. threw it. Hey. Jordan Love is special, and I saw yes. I saw you tweet it. He finna get what? What kind of money? Top finna five get? money. <laughs> Top five money. <laughs> Top five. Oh, hey, young young bull, nice. Young bull is nice. I want to give the GM Brian Gutekunst mm-hmm. because he zoomed up and went and got Jordan Love. Yeah. When Aaron Rodgers, that's what pissed Aaron Rodgers off. Yeah. He zoomed yeah. up and got it. Mm-hmm. And look at those receivers, the Watsons. The Romeo Dobbs, yeah, the yeah. Heath, the Melton. Look at those tight ends that he got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's doing it without one of his best off his line, David Bakhtiari, who's yeah. left, who's one of the premier left tackles. Mm-hmm. They got to look at what they've done defensively. Yeah. Oh, get Brian Gunnikin, you love it. You deserve a lot of credit because not only for the way you drafted, but the way you were willing to move on from Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. You said, I'm not going to be held hostage any hey. longer. That took balls. Yeah. That took balls now. Ocho, you know, at some point in time, you get tired of somebody giving you, look here, you can be in a relationship, but at some mm. point in time, you're going to get tired of your partner giving you the ass to kiss. Mm. So how much longer are you going to continue to give me your ass to kiss and I'm paying you $45, $50 million? Mm. And you're not getting nah. the results you want on the back end. What am I, what am I paying $50 million for? To get beat by, to get beat by Jimmy Garoppolo? To get <laughs> beat by Tom Brady to come in there and turn yeah. the ball over three times? Right. So what mm-hmm. so what what exactly am I paying for? You're right. You're right. 
a guy that's going to expile conspiracy theories? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, so what? So what am I getting? You are right. I bet the locker room appreciate. I bet the locker room. I bet it's a more harmonious locker room. I mean, he, he's a good teammate. I'm sure. I'm sure, he's a good teammate. Okay, let you tell it. But them Cowboys hurt me, boy. They ain't hurt you. Why they hurt you? I'm just, I'm Why just they saying. hurt? Hey, Ocho, check this out. Yeah. Did you know the Green Bay Packers have more playoff wins at AT and T Stadium three than the Cowboys do? How road team got more got more playoff wins in your mm -hmm. building? Right. That's like somebody coming in and having more sex in your bed than you do, and you live there. How that work, Ocho? Damn. I, boy, when you put it, hey, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like when you put it like that. I don't yeah, like the way that's what I'm saying to you. That's what like I'm talking that's, about. Yeah, that's that's rough there, boy. That's rough. That's rough. Hey, the, the Cowboys stunk it up, though, man. They stuck it up on both sides of the ball. They, Seven they and a half point favorites. Damn, man. That's crazy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's, that's <coughs> crazy. Well, hey, crazy, you listen, believed that, in them. Listen, I mean, listen, Ed, you... I'm a, I'm a visual person. I'm a visual learner. If you show me right, I'm gonna believe what I see until I until you show me otherwise. See, they didn't show me otherwise until tonight. No, oh, they didn't show they didn't show me otherwise until tonight. So now I I'm it that shit hurt because it's thing because I was the one talking shit and taking up for everybody during the season. You were. I'm you arguing. Were. I'm going. Matter of fact, me and you got into it. Shit, I was dead ass. Shit. We, we dead yes. serious. You know, I'm about I'm about you to ruin a friendship with my coworker standing on business behind the players. Yes, you know it put a strain on our relationship. Yes, because you want that. You talk about that. That that stop five. I said, oh, you want? I said, come on, I said, come on, oh, no. I don't want nobody talking about that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I hurt. It, it, it hurt for me different. Even if you're a Cowboy fan, it's one thing to be a fan of the team, but it's another thing to be on the outside looking in and standing on business by certain individuals and players and not having the leverage to be able to to big up and talk that trash back. So now everything you said now is coming to fruition and got me looking like a fool. It's all and good, that shit, that, shit got, that shit got me tearing up. Hey, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button because we want to make sure you get all the and the notifications to make sure that when we go live at any given moment that you don't miss Ocho, Unc and Ocho going live. We got Ocho, we're right at 86,000. We're going to stay. We're going to try to get, we're going to get 100. I go to get 100,000 tonight. Matter of fact, matter of fact, if you're a Cowboys fan in the chat, bitch, we're going to be back next year. How about No, y'all, be back where? Huh? We're gonna be back Everybody next year. We're gonna, we gonna get over the hump because I know Jerry Jones gonna see this. Jerry Jones gonna see this. Jerry, I love you. I love the way you conduct business. Go ahead and get in the background, letting the boys handle their business from now on. We don't need you at the forefront. We don't need you at the forefront. We don't need you at the forefront. Talk about nothing. And this is the best team since 1995. Don't do none of that. Let them boys go out there and play ball from preseason to regular season, the playoffs. We know who own the team. Don't put no more added pressure. Then what already comes with the star on the helmet already? Bingo. Oh, now what? What's, what's the problem be solved? I guarantee the problem be solved when Jerry stopped doing that. I guarantee you. I kid you not. And if I'm lying, I'm flying. And I'm sitting in this chair right now. I mean, Romeo Dobbs has he has six targets, six receptions, a buck fifty-one. Musgrave, you know what? They got the oh, what we call the uh, the throwback. We call it O-ish throwback to the tight end. <laughs> because when the tight end oh, come from one wide, side, and, and he loop out, right? Hey, and you, the defense the like, oh, yeah, that oh, was nice. The tight end, that was yeah, a nice play. That, that was exactly. a nice play. Very nice uh, play. Man, Ocho, that was a beat down. Yeah. And you know what, Ocho? What when you think about it, uh huh. You lose a close ball game, you can mm -hmm. make us like okay, but when you get beat like they did on all sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, Jerry's doing some serious soul searching tonight. Well, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. McCarthy's fired tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. McCarthy's fired tomorrow because I know I've I've, I've heard the grumblings. I heard I heard the the I've seen the tweets from from those that I would consider sources and saying his future depended on how they did today. And what what, what you saw today, you, you can't have that. You you can't have that, especially with the standards that Jerry holds his team and franchise to. You get you man, got to have, Jerry you got don't to... care nothing about that man. Jerry about them dollars. Jerry gonna make the same amount of money whether they right. win a Super Bowl or not. 
Right. Okay. We you know I, what I mean. I guarantee you that was the most watched game. Mm -hmm. The start of it. I mean, obviously the game did get interesting. Right. That we see because yeah. it's the Cowboys. So Jerry gonna make his money. I, mean, but at some I just point, hope I just hope they ain't have they, they ain't sell any more playoff tickets. You know, I hope y'all didn't sell divisional playoff tickets because y'all gotta get them folks a refund. They want their money back. No, that that's 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 crazy. All them, my barber, but uh, uh, Dad, I go get my hair cut and uh, I'm gonna give you a shout out. Hey, Carly Booker, I know you watching off the hook. Oh, he calling me. How about the boy? How about the cowboy? Mm -hmm. I call him today. Hello. Nah, you know who it is. You got call ID. <laughs> you know good way. A shadow sharp showed up in your phone. Call me, right. Booker. Yeah. Now everybody up. I'm like, y'all still them boys. That's okay. We better the Bronco. Oh, now all of a sudden it's about the Bronco. It's the Cowboys versus the Bronco. Right. Y'all ain't said it all year. Y'all ain't mentioned nothing about no damn Bronco. Now all of a sudden, Green Bay done went put foot in you. Jumped off in your knee deep. And now y'all want to talk about the Broncos. And, oh, that's all right. That's all right. We better than this team. No, you're not. You're not better than Green Bay. Let's talk about what you did against the Green Bay Packers, which was absolutely – that's a shame. So y'all ain't what the elephant left on the showground. And you know what the elephant left on the showground. A big old steaming pile. <laughs> Ooh, that was awful. But that was never, awful, Ocho. You never answered. What's next, though? What's next for who? What, 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 do, what do the Cowboys go from here? What changes they, need to be made? Well, you know what? They ain't got to go nowhere because they're already at home. They don't got to board no plane or nothing. <laughs> Show up the bar at 9 o'clock, get them hefty bags, and clean your lockers out and get All up right. out of town. Okay, well, what changes need to be made next year to, to, to ensure the fans we won't have to go through this bullshit next year? You've been going through it for 28 years. 29 years now. What you mean? What changes? Well, hell, the goddamn Lions ain't ain't been ain't won a playoff game in 32. And look what they did this year. But the but, but so the, how do we get the how do we get the change in Dallas? Now, in I, AT &T I ain't stadium? telling you. I ain't what telling you because I need something to talk about. I need material. Why would I tell you the sauce? Why would I tell you the secret sauce? What I be uh 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 uh, uh Colonel Sanders don't give you the secret recipe. Popeyes don't give you the recipe to their chicken. Yeah, well, the recipe, tell you what you I, need to well, do. The, the recipe for, for Colonel Sanders and the recipe for KFC is on YouTube. I could just go and Google it. No, now, you can't get it. The chain, no, what can't. I need to do for, for the Cowboys to get over the hump, that you can't Google that. I need you to tell I, me. I ain't going to tell you because I want, I, I want material. Because I right. want to have next year, I want 150000 in the chat. Right. The, yeah. Oh, listen, I got the answer to it, and I can get 300000 in the chat. Oh, I you know, talk I about, know what they need to get. Jerry, you want Jerry to fall back, huh? I, not only that, I want Jerry to fall back. <laughs> I want Jerry to relinquish the power in making a decision making on who comes and who goes. And I, I want to get that 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 young fella over there in Boulder. I want to get the young fella over there in Boulder and let him come over there and and and, and have oh, a oh, shot. Prime? <laughs> huh? Come on man. now, man. Prime ain't gonna coach. Come on, come on now. Make it make it make it make sense. As, man, as Prime many, don't as, want to... Listen, make it make as many times as Prime said, I want to be a leader of men that are in college, not men that are in the NFL. Jerry, go get Prime and let Prime have the same shift in culture that Dan Campbell has had and provided for those in Detroit. If you want change, change starts with you, Jerry. If you want change, change starts with you. I'm not here to preach to you because it's Sunday, but I'm telling you, I know you're going to see this clip. They're going to send it to you. It's Ocho talking to you. Stay with me now. Well, he'll have time. If you want he change, he ain't got to work. He ain't got to work at no more game for him. He's going to have time. How much time? He's going to have time. They're going to have time on their hands. How much time? They ain't got no more game plan. Ain't no more game planning. <laughs> ain't no more film breakdown. Ain't no more nothing. Yeah. You getting them hefty bags? Hey, I see y'all. Hey, anybody want to come on nightcap? Hey, we doing a live show Thursday before the Super Bowl. Any cowboy, Dak, uh, a CD, Micah, any of y'all want to come on? Hey, y'all can shoot. Y'all ain't got number time. Y'all ain't gonna be in the game, so I know y'all gonna be in Vegas. So come on and holler at Chop, chop it up with your boy Uncle Ocho. Have a good time. You 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 enjoying this, huh? Nah, cause I I you know what? I don't like to be a guy to say I told you so. We got to drink it. I told you so. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you. But see, when I tell y'all something, y'all say I'm a hater. Or oh, you don't like that. Or you got something against black quarterbacks. Or you just, or you, okay. Do y'all actually think, hold on, let me, I just want to know one thing. Do y'all actually think they just put me on TV 
because I look good or I got a booming voice. I know what the hell I'm talking about. I study the game. I'm telling you, I've tried to tell you all year, you never accept anything in a win you wouldn't in a loss. See, when you win, you accept things because you won. Because the old adage is winning cures all. It does. And so you let things slide instead of correcting them. But that's not what I do. And well, oh, Shannon, you a hater. You don't know. You jealous. Oh, such and such better than you. All that's fine and true. Everybody that y'all say is better than me, fine. It doesn't change the fact that more times than not, I'm right. And I was, I was damn sure hoping you was wrong too. Because I was going to have a field day. I was ready for this game at 430. Well, you got rained hoping, out. I was hoping you was wrong. Yeah, you wanted now, to go I was, outside. I, I, I was going to bring up every comment, everything you ever said about the Cowboys from week one all the way to week goddamn 17 to the goddamn playoffs. Oh, you yeah, had receipts. Take, take you that. had oh, receipts. What? Did I? Yeah. Huh? I got them written right down here. In this, where I take my notes? I Throw it in the trash. I, I can't even use it. Throw it in the trash. I can't even use it. it. It'll be good. It'll be good next year, maybe. Can't even use it. It's all good, though. Everybody Elite. remember, y'all remember field day? We used to have, like, the the, uh, the sack relay, the 100-yard, the softball talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when I go to McKeer's school. You got I that like Buffalo that. You got that buffalo weather. It's indoors. You can't go to field day. You ain't going to have no field day with no, uh, oh, no, not this year. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'll be back next year. I know if if, if I can get Jerry to listen and just suppress Jerry himself, listen. suppress, Jerry suppress, listen. suppress himself. We know you that boy. We know oh, you. Man. We know you. We what know you the king of Dallas. Suppress yourself and allow others to make the decisions. No nope. reason why you can't get over the hump. I want him to stay just like it is. Ocho, no. Ocho, come no. on, man. What? Don't you like this? Man, we got eighty nine thousand in the chat. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I want to see them boys win. I want to see Dak. I want to see Dak fucking. They had an opportunity past the regular season. I want to see Dak. I listen. I would love for Jerry to have a motherfucking another Lombardi Trophy. I would love for him to do it. No, but how's he gonna do it? No, the formula to do it is easy because your way ain't working, Jerry. Your way not working. He did Jimmy wrong. He did Jimmy wrong. He did Jimmy wrong. Talk reckless and then put him in there helping to break the curse. Nope, because you didn't do it out of the kindness of your heart. You did it because to try to break the curse. You didn't do it because you thought he was worthy. You didn't do it because you thought he had earned it. You didn't do it because of that. You wanted to break the curse. You had started to believe that it was the the, the Ruthian curse over the Red Mm. Sox before they broke Mm. it. That's Mm. why you did it. No. Oh, I got another one. What about this? Since Prime is busy and Prime really can't come to the Cowboys right now, if Prime needs to, to finish uh, uh, doing his due diligence at Colorado, what about Jim Harbaugh? Harbaugh and, and, and Jerry ain't, ain't, ain't compatible. No? Well, nope. Jerry and the Cowboys ain't compatible right now either because now oh, we they, got another first-round exit after 28 years, so some got, Ocho, to, some, got to, some got to give. Ocho, the Cowboys is Jerry. He's not going to have a coach that has a strong – Harbaugh is going to want control. That's Parcel what we need. Control. That's what he we need. Jerry, that. Jerry. And, I'm, and I'm saying we. Like, I'm a cowboy. But that's what we need. Why do I want to think- see change. What's wrong with Harbaugh? What's wrong with relinquishing power? We know you're the owner. Mm-mm. You got to get out the team's way. Because now, guess what? If somebody comes in and wins the Super Bowl, he don't get the credit. That's he why gonna he get got the credit gym. because he's the owner, no matter what. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody giving no ownership. Clark Hunt won two of the last three Super Bowls. They give Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid that credit. They ain't giving no Clark Hunt no credit. They give Sean McVay, not Stan Kroenke, credit. Don't do that. Jerry want the credit. Well, that's why. Think about it. He had Jimmy Johnson. He had Jimmy. He fired Jimmy after back to back Super Bowls. Went in between. Then he got Parcells. That was the last coach he got. Then he had Dave Campo. He had a Chan Gailey. He had guys that they're just figureheads. Right. Coaching title. Right. Got no say so. You don't right. have no say over the 53-man roster. You don't have no say over free agency. You don't have no say over the draft. So what the hell are you? You just so, call plays. So you and you call what Jerry won't. You just answer. You just answer the question. You just answered everything I've just been saying. You just explained it right there for yourself in front of 80 goddamn thousand. You just said who the problem was without me even having yes. to say it again. You just said it. 
I'm saying, I, Ocho. He's the, the problem. Pro He's in the way of the team. But owners don't fire themselves. Well, he doesn't have, I didn't say you don't have to fire yourself. I said suppress, fall to the back, bring in a coach that knows what they're doing. Like, a well, Bill Belichick, that really won't happen because he can't be talking. Jim Harbaugh, Prime, because Prime will come in there and change that motherfucker like this in an instant. Let, <clears throat> let me in ask you a instant. question. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time a person had power and ceded power out of the kindness of their heart? Ah, maybe not out of the kindness of your heart, but understanding for the betterment of the team and the franchise and wanting to reach that end goal in which you had years ago, what, in 1995? Yes. Okay. Understanding that you have, then maybe, maybe I have to do backup a little bit to get where I want to go because doing it my way isn't working. It's goddamn common sense. It ain't fucking rocket science. Because you just explained it just now perfectly, so yeah. eloquently. He's the problem. Thank you. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We really, really need your assistance. We're, going, we're growing at an astronomical rate, but we believe with your help, we can grow even faster. So we want to say thank you again for joining us in this live chat. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. And with Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, the Super Bowl coming up. I'm sure there's a birthday or a holiday in there somewhere that you can buy yourself or a loved one a bottle of Shea by Laportier. Ocho, look, this is humiliating. I mean, Ocho, the the Packers got the ball, and yeah. it's like it's they about to score again. I mean, I I, I yeah. just I'm just like, oh, they gonna score again. I called my sister. She's about Shanna. They they ain't over. I said it's over. I said Cowboys can't stop them. They resigned to the fact you can look at them and tell their body language. Right. Once they got, yeah. once they went down there and they got back to back, they got 14, 20. Yeah. And they got, it, I said, it, it, it got rough. It, broke, got it rough. broke the spirit. It got rough. Broke the spirit. It got rough. And matter of fact, and when the team goes up 14, you know, if you, if you click it and you in sync offensively, you ain't tripping. You ain't tripping. But the mm -hmm. first series, they wasn't in sync at all. No. Listen, the bite, listen I, I'm, I'm a reader of body language. You can mm -hmm. tell through express facial expressions in, in your face mask, through the helmet. Oh, mm -hmm. the boy's ready. Okay, the first drive didn't go as well. But when I seen Dak throw CD a ball and CD won in sync and the ball went right through his hands, it's like he didn't yeah. even see it. I like, wait, some, somebody's disengaged. Somebody's disengaged. I'm not sure exactly who it is, but they disengaged. Not only are they disengaged, the, the mannerism and the body language ain't that of someone that's in a playoff game ready to come play football. But it, here's it, the thing. It, it, it didn't look right. Some, some, it, something was off. There was a disconnect. I don't know what kind of Wi-Fi they was using at and uh, tonight, but the Wi-Fi was off. It was, a, it was a disconnect. But here's the thing, Ocho. When a lot of what you've been hanging your hat on is that we right. play at home, we mm -hmm. do this. Right. When have they ever been behind by this much at home? Oh, never. What's, I, I think most of both they've been behind by probably about like seven points. Yeah. So now you're down 14. Now mm -hmm. you're down 20. Now yeah. you're down 27. And now, you know, whoa. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm on the plane. <laughs> they were down 27, I think. Uh, I think the, uh, the Packers had, it was 27 something. And I had to think about, has there any, ever been a time where a team has come back from a deficit like this? And I thought about the Chargers. I forgot who the Chargers played. The Chargers was, the Chargers. Out through, they played Jacksonville last year. Up 27 Bingo. nothing. And they came back and won. Say, you know what? I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Man, I had, had told told us told the stewardess, hey, you give me another coke with no ice. I say, man, the cowboy gonna come back and win this. I ain't even tripping. It's it's, it's hard, Ocho. It's hard to come back if you don't create turnovers. Yeah, you got yeah. you got because here's the thing: you got to shorten one of their possessions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because here's the thing, and cowboy with the cowboys got they scored they scored three points, but it took them six and a half seven minutes. Yeah, this, you got to yeah, score in three minutes. Yeah. But you can't let them go down and get a touchdown in That's three and a half minutes. Happen. You got to stop them. Defense. Right. You got to right. come through defense. So if you look at the way the game was going, you was like, unless Green Bay turns it over, they get a, a, a scoop and score, a block field goal, or a run back or something, mm -hmm. the Cowboys are not going to have enough possessions. Right. Damn, man. That's, that shit hurt. Hey, I think you better call Tyrone. <laughs> call him. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him to come home.
D Love said Jerry Jones is going to beg Bill Belichick to take over. Give him three years, a hundred million. Bill is the only one who can teach them boys how to win. If he can't fix it, no one can. Well, he gonna he gonna have to relinquish power. He's going he it would Bill Belichick coming coming in there. You already know what Bill expects. You know what you already know what Bill demands. Don't 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 be asking for a bill if you're not willing to take a back seat to what Bill Belichick does not want. Do your job. Don't say nothing in front of camera. And come to play. I right. know he's not he's not coming coming to an uh, owner that's going to do that. The complete opposite of Robert Kraft. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Not. He's not coming to that circus. Absolutely I, not. Ocho, remember I told you all year the Cowboys run defense. Ocho, that's liability. Nah, yeah. they gonna clean that up. They'll clean that up because yeah. you click the face. It's early. See, that's your that's your thing for yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. early. It was early. Man, you, it, know? Man, this, you, you make adjustments as the season goes on. That's why I was saying it was early. And then this you like, know, this like, this, this how you be doing me. <laughs> it's week five. Yeah. It's it was, week it was, ten. It was early. But you gotta you gotta think that the 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 four uh the 49ers, I'm talking about the 49ers, the Cowboys front line in general, a smaller. Yes, they they built for speed. They built for sideline to sideline. They play the run really no, on the way no to the meat, quarterback. Yeah, there's no meat and potatoes. They need they need some meat and potatoes in there. They need to be in a situation, Ocho, where they get you down so they can just pin their ears back so there's no threat and, of the run. Right, bingo. There you go. If I get you down 14 nothing, you're at my mercy. Yeah. And you gotta play the ball because you gotta get back in the game. This they were they were 16th in run defense. Mm. Uh their pass defense was ranked fifth. Yeah. Packers ran the ball for 143 yards and three touchdowns. Because the way they try to, what they do is that they play the run on the way to the quarterback. They're mm -hmm. looking to attack your quarterback. Right. Look at the teams that beat the Cowboys and look at what they ran, look how they, what they beat them, what they beat them de doing. Right. Right down the small, right down the pipe. that small ass nickel defense. Mm -hmm. The guys that got no bricks in their back pockets, you got safety players, linebackers. Yeah, and it's fine and good because it's great when you want to when you try to run, get on the edges and run, or right. you're trying to pass the ball. Right. But when them guard, them big guards start scooping up on their ass, mm -hmm. and them tight ends get their hands on them little light ass safeties, right? And they mm -hmm. start driving them like a you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tough. I mean, and, yep. and it's, there's really nothing you could do when you think about it. Even with this, I, I like well, my one of my alum, my my family, Mar Marquise Bell, who is um. Some of the robber, some of a smaller size linebacker. Yeah, it, it would, would what they would have to do because they were smaller inside. You got to be able to beat those guards. Got to beat them to the point or tight ends and beat them to the point of attack. And if mm -hmm. if you can't, if they able to get hands on you first, or you're not it's able over. to initiate, it's a wrap. Or get them before it's, they can get it's square. Because yeah. they square you up, I don't no, care if you beat nah. them to the point. If one of the big get, linemen square get, your you ass around, up, you ain't getting around that. You ain't getting around that, especially once they get hands on you. Oh shit! Yeah, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. But we mm. gonna fix it though. I Man, I, 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 I gave, I gave, I gave Cowboy Nation what needs to happen for things to change. Now we. Gonna I see wonder what happens. must those old cowboy, those former Cowboy players, be saying? There are a couple of them on our network. This the year of the Cowboys. Mm, 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 mm. Swaggu, how you doing out there, buddy? <laughs> Michael Irvin. I know, I know, they hurting. They hurt. Man, you know Swaggu was up there sweating like a Pentecostal minister. <laughs> Talking about the cowboy this, the cowboy here. No, it's not. I love this. I love this. Man, me and Stevie, they going to have us a ball tomorrow. I can't oh. wait to tomorrow. Hey, hey, can I come on that with y'all? I'm in the box. What the box mean? Like here's like what I'm doing right now. Right. I'm saying you say you on first take tomorrow. Let me come on. I, I can am. fly. I can fly. I can fly out there in the morning. I could listen. I can fly. I can fly to LA in the morning. I could do first take with you and Stephen A. Because you see, I'm I'm willing to critique like I and analyze like I did tonight. I stood on business because they played pathetic. It was horrible. I did that so I could fly. I could fly there with y'all. I could do first take tomorrow, and I could do inside the NFL on Tuesday. Boom. No, nah, I, like I, I don't. Want, I, don't want, I don't want. I don't want you taking away anything away from nightcap. I want your attention on nightcap. Right, nightcap, night. I'm, but I'm nightcap and first take. Like I'm, I'm trying to get as many. I'm trying to diversify my portfolio, and I need you to help me diversify my portfolio. I got 37 jobs. If you can get me on first take, that's 38. No, the more the better, please. No, now, I don't. I, I don't want to just. I, got, I don't want to just show up to LA and then interrupt studio and just walk in there and sit down and just. 
you know, I talked to Bob Iger. Bob said, whenever you want to come, just come. So I'm asking you. <laughs> no, nah, you need to talk to Stephen. That ain't my show. This, is, show is, this is mine. I, I, I reached out to you and Doug about this right here. Right. You need to talk to Stephen A about this. You need to okay. talk to Stephen A and, and, and Jimmy Pacharo, Burke Magnus, Dave Roberts, and, and Stephen A. I'm a, I'm a call, matter of fact, give me two seconds. Let me call Stephen A. See if Stephen let me on the show. Okay, Dak if, is if, now... <clears throat> Dak now is two and yeah. five in his playoff career, tied for worst record by any quarterback history with a minimum of five starts, along with Alex Smith and Billy mm. Kilmer. Green Bay continues to have Dak Prescott's number. He has 10 career interceptions and six starts, a one and five record against the Packers, the most career picks versus any team. He hasn't yeah. thrown 10 interceptions against any, any of his NFC East rivals. I don't like that. I don't really like the way that sounds. We can do something about it. But it will have me next year, though. Can't do nothing <laughs> about it next year. What you got in that cup, man? You feeling, you know, you, you feeling real good water. tonight. What Ain't you, what you got water. in that cup? Ain't nothing I feel good. A little water. That's water? You said it was water mm -hmm. yesterday. That that it can't was. be no water. Now, but you, but you, acting, you acting different. No, nah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, so you happy, to, you happy the boys lost? Nah, I ain't happy they lost. What you? What you I didn't want about? people, but I, but see, I just want them Cowboys fans. They see when they were winning, and I was trying to tell them there were things that I saw. Right, they was on my timeline. Not my timeline. I mean, like like somebody died. Right, right. I ain't, right. I ain't got no Cowboys. Ain't nobody said nothing. Ain't no Cowboys. Tell <laughs> my shadow, you suck. You make me sick. Mm -hmm. I don't get none of that. I mean, I'm, I mean, I still. I mean, let me see, see if my Twitter's still active. I hope. Uh, or what X? I hope ain't nobody deactivated my account because uh, I just want to know why. I just want to know why ain't no cowboy jumped on my timeline. Oh, so they they was they was attacking you early in the season? Yeah, huh? they all yeah attacking me. Mm. Well, I mean, come on, I mean cowboys. I mean, come on now. See, it's quiet. He he who laughs last laugh loudest. Hold on, I gotta get me a drink. Let me get me some water. Damn. Ain't nobody wanna talk to us. Hey, Cowboys, y'all in the chat? Cowboy fans. Y'all got some questions for me? I got some questions for y'all. Uh, y'all think I might can get a Cowboy NFC t shirt? <laughs> NFC Champs t shirt? <laughs> We're gonna get a cowboy NFC champ T-shirt. You, you gonna you gonna rub it in? Don't don't rub it in. Don't rub I mean, it think in. about this. Jordan Love was two yards shy of having the exact same line stat line as C.J. Stroud. Jordan Love was sixteen of twenty one, two seventy two, three touchdowns, one fifty seven point two passer rating. C.J. Stroud sixteen of twenty one, two seventy four, mm -hmm. three touchdowns, one fifty seven point two QB rating. Uh -huh. Passer rating. The league's in pretty good hand with a young quarterback. Yeah. They're in very good hands. That is the future. That is that is the future. Most definitely. But that's 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 the uh that's the key. If you get that guy, mm -hmm. he's your foundational piece mm -hmm. that you can build anything that you want around it. Did, he did you, did you hear what you just said though? When you get that guy, you know how difficult it is to find that guy. Yes, especially one that you don't have to worry about for the next ten years, and you can build yes. around that piece. Yes, that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part, especially when you're judging players coming from college, playing against almost grown men, but playing against college kids, and wondering is this going is this going to transition at the NFL level? Is it going to drain? Something? It's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss. Yeah, and for sometimes sure. Sometimes it, it had you questioning, you know, to the point where they have a thing called. First round bus. Yeah. Because sometimes scouts get it wrong. Sometimes franchise sure. owners they get it wrong. Uh, it's not because it's not an exact science. You can't say because okay, the guy is prototypical. He's six foot five, mm -hmm. 240 pounds. He can run four six at the quarterback mm -hmm. position. He mm -hmm. has a big time arm. Right. You don't really I don't care what position he plays. You really don't know what a player is gonna be until you get mm -hmm. him in your damn uniform. Yeah. And when you get him in your building and mm -hmm. you put him in your uniform. That's only when you're going to find out what it's going to be because there have been a lot of guys that's been hell of a college players mm -hmm. get to the NFL. And you're like, well, 
bro, what happened? Yeah. Why can't you do it? And then there are guys that you really don't love or like hear a whole lot about. Boom. And right they take off. off. Right, right, right so off the rip. You, you don't, you, you're right. It's it's hard. It's kind of like horse racing. Um, you breed the best and breed the best to the best and hope for mm -hmm. the best. For the best. Right. Right. All you can do is that, okay, I'm just hoping what I see on tape. I'm looking at tape, Ocho. Yeah. Okay. He goes to the combine. I think he's fast. I think he's explosive. He runs fast. He jumps high. Right. Hopefully he tests well because when I see him on tape, he looks explosive. Mm -hmm. Michael Parsons is a prime example. If mm -hmm. you watch Michael Parsons tape in college yeah. and then you watch him go to the combine, mm -hmm. you're like, man, this guy damn sure seems like can't miss. Mm-hmm. But there have been other guys. Sometimes mm -hmm. you get fooled. Like you, the guy, like man, he ain't do nothing. But then he comes and jumps out of the gym yeah. and he runs four three four two. Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, I need to go back and look. But like, but damn, but he doesn't play that fast. Yeah, there are yeah. some guys that don't play as fast as they are, and right. then there's some guys that play faster than what they run and what they right. time. Yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. So it happens all the time. <laughs> But this, but this Ocho, I mean, 40, like I said, you look at this, he's like 48-32. But ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't watch the game, at one point this game was 48-16 to 16 with yeah. under six minutes to go. 48-16. It's tough. Uh, hold on. What, we, what, do, what do we got? Juan Cardoza. Uh, should the Cowboys move on from Dak? Coaching staff, fresh start with Lance. No. Uh, but here's the thing. It's going to get very interesting, Ocho. What, what, what? CD, what, 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 CD want the bag. Well, he gonna Michael Parsons bag. wants the bag. He, he going to get the bag, too. It's, Dak it's Prescott, enough money for everybody. It's enough money for Dak? everybody. Dak, Dak want the bag. Wait, we... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Come on back to me now. I thought we, we just paid Dak two years ago, right? No? Mm -mm. This third, he coming up on that fourth year. That thing got, he got a big old cap number. What's Dak cap number next year? Uh, Dak cap number 55 mil. Oh yeah, well they they gonna they gonna change it anyway. They gonna they gonna they gonna change it. He ain't, yeah, he exactly. ain't going nowhere. They gonna get they gonna give they gonna give him a new deal. You're right. So guess what? Michael Parsons gonna want to be the highest paid defensive player. He he's deserving of such. Okay. C D Lamb want to be the highest paid receiver. Okay. So you Tyreek got thirty one million. So he gonna overlap Tyreek? You think? He said, "Look here, Tyreek deal was two years ago." Right. Hey, I, hey, well, wait a minute. Ah, shit. Boy, this tough, I, right? That, whoa. Hey, you a ventriloquist? Who in there talking with you? I kind of heard like five or six different voices. Hold on. <laughs> wait, listen, if, so if, if, if he, if he resets the market, if CD resets the market, then Chase will have to reset it again. And then Absolutely. Jefferson comes Jeff, back and Jefferson, resets yes. it again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, Man, what is what is the what is the cap going to where they where they see that that's that's a funny game that's a funny game right not a funny game and I'm just saying in particular to to timing of when the deals get done because the, there there's some good fellas some good fellas that's going that's going to have to reset the market and they're going they're going to want to one up each each other yeah so I think you ever, might, you ever say CD, I need my CD, bread CD might want to wait out Chase might might want to wait out they want to but wait they, they, but here's the thing. Justin and, and 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 CD about to hit their fifth year option. Remember, they're already four year players. But they Chase they, is just they, they gonna decline it though. The team is gonna decline their fifth year and make sure they no. Get they already picked no. They already picked it up. Oh, they picked you, it up. You pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they might, but they gonna tear that up anyway. They right. Tear it anyway. They they they, they, they got to take care of them boys. That, right. that that is the centerpiece as far as the receiving cores right. is concerned. But see, the thing is with Justin Jefferson, there is no quarterback. I believe uh uh uh, uh Cousins. Number comes off the book. He's a free agent. But well, see, you can't, you can't, you can't leave, you can't leave Justin with no quarterback, man. You can't do that. But here, they, they, look, they, 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 they're going to, you know, they'll go out and try to get a quarterback. Russell right. Wilson might be in play. No, no, no. Russell, I already told you where Russell Wilson's going. Russell Wilson is going to the Steelers. I already told you that. My sources already told me. Not be when it happened. Just know, I, I told you here first. Well, I, look, I'm just saying the Broncos. Broncos is like, okay, fine. They just don't. I'm look. It's gonna be dead money. That's eighty five million in dead money yeah. anyway. Yeah, but at least I can get some compensation for him. Yeah, most definitely. Um, but yeah, this was this was bad. This was bad. This was this was this was this was this this was the worst case scenario mm -hmm. for the Cowboys. Not only to lose, 
but to lose in the fashion in which they, they, they lost. They did, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, you could say, because you remember last time they lost, they said Green Bay, well, it was a fluky field goal. And you could say last time when in the 49ers, you could say, well, the guy didn't run down to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the umpire. Right. He need to be Usain Bolt so he could sprint down the field behind Dak Prescott and spot the ball. So you right. can you can make all the excuses. Yeah, when the time ran ain't, out on the clock, yeah. Ain't no excuses to be made for that ass whipping that you took. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they lost. They lost, lost. They lost. And, and, yeah, and, man. and they lost in horrific style. Horrific. Yeah. Humiliating. And the fact that it was at home. The fact that it was at home and we had to endure Your that. fans saw that. Do you know what it's like? To watch, I mean, to get beat down in front of your family. I mean, yeah. you, I, I don't know if it, I ain't never lost no fight. I ain't really, no, I ain't never fought nobody. Excuse me, chat. Excuse me, I ain't never fought nobody in front of my yeah. family, but it must be embarrassing. That's bad. If you get beat down in front of your girl, That's or you bad. get beat down in front of your hey, family. Can you imagine getting beat up in front of your girl and then have to go home with her? Because now she's going to hey, talk crazy hey, to you. And then, Oh, yeah. and then Oh, you raise your voice at me? me you ain't do that to him. You raise your voice at that. <laughs> yeah, dog. You know what I'm talking about, Ocho. Yeah, that's how they talk to you. So now, when you out the cowboy, in the cowboy fan, see y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's that's crazy. That's, how, that's how they are. Yeah, I mean, as soon as somebody check, you know, the, you know, girl, now she's going to keep she'll keep you in check. Yeah. Damn, I ready to talk shit tonight, man. Up, man. You you better well, you better be talking about the uh, uh, Armand St. Brown. Cause you ain't got nothing to talk about the Cowboys. Ocho, y'all got a faulty water. Forty-eight. Timer, timer. Forty-eight. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. We'll be back next year. We'll be back next year. I I, I put it out there. What changes need to be made? If they if they not made, I'm gonna raise hell. Ocho. If they if the if the changes that I'm telling you aren't made for the Cowboys. The fans fucking deserve it. The players deserve it. And if it if they don't change, I'ma raise hell. Now give me give me the platform. Give me the platform. If it don't change, uh, I'ma raise hell. Ocho, you make it seem like nobody else is gonna try to make changes. Just because you make changes, that doesn't mean that don't put the cowboys at the front of the line. There's one change that needs to be made. Who's in the who's in the way? One change. That's it. Nothing else. The pieces, the pieces of that puzzle. What about that defense? What about that defense? Let's talk about that defense. Let's oh, talk we, about that defense. Oh, we I, they I'm gave up sure 48 they, points. I, yeah, they gave up they gave up 48. I'm not sure if to Dan a guy Quinn, that's starting his first playoff game. Right. I'm not sure if Dan Quinn gonna be there next year. I'm not sure. Because if Mike McCarthy goes, that means his staff has to go. So someone else is gonna have to come in there. But whoever comes in there to run that defense, they have great pieces to work with. They have very good pieces. You gotta understand when you play the game of football, it's nothing but a chess match. Can I put my best pieces against your pieces and make the right moves. That's all it comes down to. That's all it comes down to at the end of the day. You got to do that for four quarters. Oh, so now Dan Quinn don't know how to call defense. I said he don't know how to play chess. Stay with me now. Oh, well, I he's the he, I, I said he don't if know. If I didn't know, but I could have swore, I could have swore he was the D coordinator in Seattle. Was he the D, D, D coordinator in Seattle with the Legion of Boom? With Legion of Boom? Well, shit, goddamn. Helen Kelly could have been the goddamn D coordinator with the Legion of Boom and they would have been straight. They would have been fine. Oh, so now it's, now it's them, huh? Did, did, you, did you hear what I just said? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, Helen honey. Keller could have been a D coordinator of the Legion of Boom, and they would have still had the same results. You would have still got the same results. Well, it, before, it before, da, before Dan Quinn got there, y'all said Mike Nolan didn't know what the hell he was doing. And the D <laughs> coordinator before that, y'all said he didn't know what the hell he was doing. So well, I, who I, know what I, the hell they're doing? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm, so I'm, I'm just trying I'm, to figure out well, who know what the hell they're doing. I'm so just looking, what, I'm, I'm looking forward to 2024 and what we need to do to get better. So they gave up 48 today. They gave up 42 to Green uh, uh, to uh, uh, San Francisco. Yeah. How much did they give up the Buffalo? Hey, look at the and, and the look at the offenses you naming too. We talk about prolific offenses. Nice. Oh, Arizona, Arizona prolific too. Oh no! Okay. Oh, take, take that back. That's gave it. up that's, twenty-eight I call, to I, them. I call I call that a trap game. You know, sometimes when you with your homeboys and y'all out, and everybody got a girl, you got to take one for the team. That's that one for the team. That Arizona game. That's that one for gave the up, team. Gave you up thirty-one what? to Buffalo. Gave gave up, and they gave got beat by Arizona with Joshua Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs. He a, he a, he a, he in the, he in the NASA flight program. Yeah, he, he an man. astronaut. Yeah, he he said, smart. you know what? He said, you know what? I got a little part-time gig. Mm -hmm. I'm a full-time astronaut. I masquerade as a quarterback on the weekend. Watch <laughs> what I do to the Cowboys. 
<laughs> and did a number on the Cowboys. Yeah, he did. What did Philly? How many Philly score on them? Yeah. Well, the Philly game wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Uh, it, was a, it was a little closer than normal. Twenty-eight. It's a little closer than normal. That's gave up thirty. Close. They gave up thirty-five in a win to the Seattle at home. You right. Thirty-five. I want to know what this horse start. See, Damn. I want to know this historic defense because that's what I heard a lot of talk of. Historic. I mean, they, they were, I'm talking they about. Were, I heard. They, I heard. 2014 Seattle. I heard 2000 Ravens. Mm-hmm. I heard uh, 85 Bears. I heard the 02 Bucks. You know they they were playing historic. They were doing some historic things throughout against the season. The Jets and and Wilson, Zach Wilson, against the Patriots and Mac Jones. Really, really, Ocho, really. I don't remember who the teams were. They were playing with. They were I do. Historic, I do. His, his historic comments. But I'm just saying that they were. This is the NFL. You can't you can't say, oh, it's the Jets, or you can't say, oh, it's the Patriots. It's well, when you're the, historic, the you don't give up 48 and 42. You don't do that. Right. You're right. You don't. You don't. And I, I, I can't even, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fight for that. I can't fight and for see, that. See, this is what I love so much about pro sports. Mm-hmm. You can't talk about it. You gotta be about it. See, you can't talk your way out of this. We got the play. Mm. See, while you over there talking about what you're going to do, show me. Mm. Hey, We're going to put these pants on, and I'm going to come to your building at 1.30, 4.30. Mm-hmm. The whole world going to see. Oh, I bet you said there's a big audience. Man, I bet you, I bet you Fox wanted to. Wanted the only thing, they couldn't they could flex out of it. Right. When they got 48-16. They like uh they they wanted to go to the uh, uh Westminster Dog Show. Yeah, you you know you know the Packers six and zero against the you know the Packers six and zero against the goddamn Cowboys at AT and T Stadium. Yeah, six and zero. Every time they, they got more playoff AT&T, wins than AT and T Stadium, the Cowboys Stadium, do. They beat them. Mm-hmm. But see, I see this is why I love the beat down because there is no. Oh, it was a lucky field goal. Oh, right. it was a bad call. Oh, d- you remember the Dez called it. Dez called it. Ain't none of that. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing. There's nothing to be said. There's not one person can go on TV tomorrow and say the Cowboys were a better team. Mm. Damn. They beat y'all down. Hey, stop, stop rubbing it in because I'm, I'm starting to tear up a little bit. That's all right. They beat y'all down. See this idea. You see this the way you beat somebody. See you don't beat somebody and let somebody break it up. My right. grandpa said, "Boy, you get a hold of somebody, you beat them and make them break loose." Right, right. See, you know what I'm saying? When the animals get fight, when they get, when they get the, one of them get the best of it, then one of them will break loose. Yeah, you already know. Hink. They beat the cowboys so bad, made the cowboys break loose. The refs couldn't even call it off. Beat the brakes off y'all, and the man jumped offside. So you know, let, let that one slide. You see Matt LaFleur said the left guard moved. The left guard moved. He did. Try to get y'all a little momentum coming out the half. Yeah. Packers said, don't worry about it. Matt LaFleur said, don't even worry about it. Hey, Jordan Love said, hey, I got this. Yeah. Stop him. Guess what we did? Go right down the field. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> you know, and I'm, I'm happy for Jordan Love, though. I'm happy for Jordan Love. I'm, I'm happy that they, I'm happy that the Packers organization made the right call with moving on from Aaron Rodgers Finding their guy, not just any yeah. guy, not just a quarterback you have to worry about. You know what? Uh, let's see. Maybe he's him. Maybe he's not. Maybe we have to go in the draft. Maybe we have to get somebody in free agency. You found that guy. The Houston Texans found their guy. It is very yes. difficult for teams to find that guy because many teams <coughs> are struggling with finding one right now. I love the Patriots because if the Patriots had found their guy, similar to how the, the Texans have and the Packers have, Bill Belichick wouldn't be going no motherfucking where. Well, Bill Belichick made the mistake of hiring people that never called plays. Why is Matt Patricia and Joe Judge calling offensive plays? One's a special team coach and the other the defensive coordinator. But see, that's when you're arrogant. You see, when you become so arrogant that you can think you can do no wrong, and that's right. Coach Belichick. Coach Belichick is arrogant because for him to think that he can take a defensive guy and a special teams guy and make them OCs, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. goes to arrogance in him. That's a flaw. 
Because sometimes we can get high off our own supply. Mm. We think that much of ourselves, Ocho. We got to be careful. I have the a question. That, go ahead. When it comes to coaches, especially at the at the highest level, like the NFL, yes, aren't aren't they equipped to coach all three phases of the game, whether it be special teams, offense, and defense? Wouldn't they be adequate to be able to, to coach? No, or should they just be a specialty specifically for that that said coach? Marvin Lewis was a defensive coach. Marvin Lewis not calling offensive plays. Okay, okay, okay. So Matt Patricia should, had no reason being on the offensive side. He's of the never ball. called an offensive play. Okay, okay, okay. I, I was just curious. I was I was just curious. I mean, most most coaches. I'm 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 assuming, especially with with understanding and knowing of the game of both sides. You know, both sides of the ball. You can understand it, the. You can understand it, Ocho. But right. there's a situation. Okay, first down. And I'm not really paying attention because I'm on the second time. What are we going to do on second down? Right. And I, plus, I got to remember the, the coverage that they're running down the different <laughs> area of the field and right. formation on the field. That's right. a whole different ball game. Ball game. Okay. Okay. It's a whole and different so ball you, game. But you would think they're able to do it, it's, it especially at that level. I, 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 I don't know. I'm just curious. No. You think a professional football player could go on, can go on an NBA court? He's a professional, so he should be able to do it, right? I mean, well, you, you talking about me or you just said you? I'm talking about me. anybody. Oh, Probably you think not. you could take it? You think you could take an NFL player right now and go out there and play NBA real NBA basketball, or do you think you could take Anthony Edwards? He think he and bring him to an NBA, uh, NFL field. You think he can play right now? Get his ass broke up. That's about Thank it. you. Just because, just because, just because I'm a coach, I coach one side of the ball. That doesn't mean I can coach the other side of the ball. There's a reason I went to that side of the ball. Yeah, I, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Uh, like DB said Green Bay gave them, gave it to them like they were like they were on them diamonds. They 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 did. <laughs> they were the diamonds. Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. They did. Hey, was, DP, they one. put them on. They had them diamonds on them. That was a good oh, one. Oh, man. That was a good one. Wh whoever that was, that was a good one. DP. That was a good one. Mm, 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 mm. Uncultured J. Hey, um, I saw someone posted on Twitter that when when they die, they want the Cowboys to be their pallbearers so they can let them down one last time. They do it. Let them down easy. They're going to yeah. let you down easy. Yeah. You already know you're going to get dropped. It's 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 a shame. It's a shame that because you know the Cowboy fans get so and that's the thing, they're so delusional. Because every year after they win a couple of games, Ocho, what is it? Mm -hmm. This our year. Yeah. yeah. And even Ocho had Ocho 38 hot at me. Yeah. That was I tried to call Ocho. He wouldn't even accept my calls. I was hot, boy. I was hot. I said, Well, damn, Ocho. I mean, it's just <laughs> we just we just debating football, bro. It ain't that serious. Now that shit, I, t I take that. I take that shit serious. I take it when it comes to defending these players. When it comes to defending these players, well, I'm standing on business about all of them. Cowboys. Uh, I don't give. I don't care who it is. Well, you should have told the Cowboys to stand on business. We gonna regroup. You said that last year. They've been saying that for 29 years, Ocho. Now, damn. And guess who's still in the way? <laughs> guess, <laughs> man, put that can down. Put that in the cup. Oh, my bad, my bad, my they bad. They got to pay. I forgot, I forgot. My bad, hold on. Nikki Grant said, Shannon, <laughs> Shannon got to be the beginning of so many people's villain origin stories. He's my kind of petty. I, I little petty. I'm big petty when it comes to the Cowboys because they deserve it. Nikki, you know they deserve it. They deserve it because they fans always and everybody mentioned showing up. Oh, we them boys. We them boys. We this, we that. Y'all going home. The only difference between the Cowboys and all the other teams that didn't, that didn't make the playoffs, they practice one extra week. They practice one extra week. They practice one extra week. Yeah. Everybody, they got them hefty bags. They're gonna pull up there in them nice whips, them uh, uh, uh them Lambo trucks, them mm -hmm. ranges, you know, them Bentleys, them rolls, them cullinans. They're gonna pull up there with the big old hefty bags. All right, man. Peace out, hey man. Y'all going to the bowl, man. What you gonna do with your Super Bowl tickets? I don't know, man. I'll let you know. I'll holler at you. Hey, dog, 
You going to the Super Bowl? Yeah, man. Hey, man, you going to such and such? Now you making plans that don't have nothing to do with football. <laughs> Cancun on three or no? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, <laughs> man, you know, hey, God, see, when you lose like this, you lay low for a minute. Yeah, yeah. You don't say, because, see, here's the thing. If you do too much celebrating, people going to say that's why you lost the game because your mind went where it should have been. So you lay low. Right. Lay real low. Mm hmm Hey, you know, Dak talking about, you know, LV. Only thing on my mind is LV. I bought my girl an LV bag. Take it back. <laughs> Ain't no similarity between LV and LV that you spoke the destination of the Super Bowl. Take it back. That's a good one. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good one. But I see y'all out there. Look, any Cowboy one. players that want to join Ocho and I nightcap, you come in and sit down 10, 15 minutes. Shoot the crowd with him, man. We we yeah, come on. We welcome. Come on. I'm 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 gonna stand on business with you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Who you want me to get? I, I can I can I can ain't nothing but a text. They might be busy. Uh <laughs> TJ Linton, do you think Green Bay can beat the 49ers next week? Yeah. They can. Uh. They can. Come on now. Mm-hmm. You know what type of defense you need to be the goddamn 49ers. There's only one team. There's only one team I've seen get them boys goddamn hell up and down the field. Had Brock Purdy going crazy. And they out the AFC North. Oh, Joe. You know, turnovers make everything equal. Okay. okay. I, I like, I like, listen, the 49ers do too much offensively. And you got to have the personnel. You got to have the personnel. Look at the personnel of the Ravens. And no disrespect to the Packers. Then look at the personnel of the Packers. It's different. They got great players. They Stop got great you. players. But it's, it's different. It's different. The way they play football in the AFC North is different. I respect the NFC. I like the Packers. I like what they do. I like what they did tonight. But it's different. So what you trying to say? They got you got to no hit a nigga. Oh, oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You got my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. You gotta, you gotta hit. Damn it, I'm my bad, man. Fuck. I'm talking like we in the street. My bad. I'm sorry. You gotta hit a a, a motherfucker in their mouth. Yes. That's how them Ravens play. That's how yes. the entire AFC North play. You gotta hit a motherfucker in their mouth. Make them. Well, Cleveland ain't play like that. No. Nah, Who Cleveland hit I'm, yesterday? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Cleveland that was because that's not the Cleveland we saw all year, especially offensively. Not from. Goddamn defensively. Flacco. I mean, defensively. I'm sorry. I'm, that's that's what we saw defensively. Them boys played some hell. They played some hell of a football throughout the, throughout the season. Joe Flacco, like you did say when he did take over, he turns the ball over a lot. I said, man, that was the, I said, Ocho. He turn, he turns I said, the ball I, over I love. A lot. I said, but it's bad. I'm telling you, man. He, if that's what concerns me, man. And, and what and what did he do? Turn the ball over. And, and you play not, double. You're not, you're not able to overcome that. You can't overcome two that. pick sixes. What did Dak do? A pick six. Man, it's hard to overcome that. Please, mm -hmm. thank you. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Guys, we appreciate it. Are we still at 80? We're at 85 in the chat. Guys, we want to appreciate you. Sometimes I think when you guys go into live chats, I don't know, because I can only speak to for myself and Ocho, I don't know if they tell you or show you the love and the appreciation that we do, mm -hmm. because I understand. I'm not foolish enough to say, that, oh, just because we have great content, that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. We feel we have great content, mm -hmm. but we like to show you love and appreciation mm -hmm. because we understand that without you, there is no us. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you. You think I'm foolish enough to think that, hey, the Cat Williams interview, you guys got that up to 48 million views. 48 Woo! million. In the next couple of days, we're going to hit 50 million. One of the, one of the, uh, uh, only uh, uh, Joe Rogan, has has two videos at 50 million plus. Mm. And for me to be able to join that 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 select that few company is it's, it's, it's because of you guys. So I really appreciate you watching the video. I know some of you guys I mean I've gotten messages from you guys, DMs from you guys that you've watched it on multiple occasions. And I really, really appreciate that. And I appreciate you supporting Nightcap because we didn't think we were gonna grow as fast as we did, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I knew we, I knew Ocho and I. We had great chemistry. Yeah. Uh, 
He wanted to do it. I wanted him to do it. I wanted to do it. But guys, you don't know how something's mm-hmm. going to be received yeah. until it's received. Right. And so I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to get right back on the Cowboys again because they stunk it up and they deserved it. Green Bay put both feet in them jokers. <laughs> both feet. That's yeah. a, that's embarrassing, Ocho. You ought to be ashamed of yeah. yourself to say you supported the Cowboys. Listen, this year. I'm, listen I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed because at, at times, sometimes you, you put your interest and you put you put your all into something. You put your all into something that you love and something that you you value and you and you see good in. And sometimes what you see, it doesn't turn out to be just that. Your expectations. I, I you try to you gotta learn to manage your expectations. That's something that I always talk about and preach all the time. In this instance, I didn't get the results I wanted based on the way I stood on business for the Cowboys all season long. Yeah. But again, I know who the problem is. I know who's standing in the way of them reaching the pinnacle of it, what it is they want to accomplish. And I know who it is. And I've said it again. I ain't going to say it no more. Um, so please, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Because over the next couple of weeks, there are going to be times that we might not be scheduled. But because something happened, Ocho and I will be going live that night. Mm. And so we want to make sure that you hit those notifications so that you will be alerted that when Ocho and I do. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, Blind Pew asks, Unk. Tell me how many quarterbacks aside from Mahomes and Burrow could have overcome that non-existent Cowboys defense? Not many, especially. Now, the defense like that, you're yeah. going to have to match them score for score. Yeah. You, but if you turn it over, you're doomed because you yeah. know your defense not stopping them. Mm-hmm. So they're going to have to be flawless. One turnover, because think about it, they – well, it was seven nothing, fourteen nothing, and then all of a sudden they get a pick. I think they got the pick. I think Jair. I think Jair made it. Made it like twenty. Made it twenty. Mister PAT. So now, in order for you to get back into the ball game, they've already stolen one of your possessions. Mm-hmm. So now, in order for you to get back, you have to steal one of their possessions. Yep. Score. And get a stop. And get a stop. stop. Yep. So it's hard. I don't know. Not like that. I, I, I mean, I mean, how many times did Green Bay punt? Twice. I know they punted when they bought the they 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 punted. They bought the back. So three times, maybe three times. Mm. I think they punted three times. I could put it out of here. Right by stats. Damn, I know that shit hurt. I know my boy is sitting at home sick right now, man. Damn. Nah, don't be sick. No, uh, don't be sick. What you sick Man, for? That's crazy. The, the, uh, okay. We're gonna be back next year, though. Oh, you promise? You sure? Oh, I know. Oh, I know so. I know okay. so because I I, t- I told you what needs to happen. I'm never in this space. I'm never on this type of platform. I'm never. I'm never been given the chance to say what needs to happen. You have a team that hasn't won anything since 1995, 28, 29 years, whatever it may be. And you understand the pieces have always changed. You know, new player, new quarterback, new new, new head coach, new defensive coordinator. Everything is changing and the results continue to happen the same way. First round exit, first round exit, great regular season, great regular season, awesome regular season, first round exit, first round exit. <coughs> God, damn, I wonder what the motherfucking problem is. What is, it? what is it? It's, it's always the same person. Always at the forefront. Oh, he want all the attention. Oh, he making all the headlines. Oh, my helicopter. Oh, my team. Oh, Jerry's world. Oh, I got the biggest, biggest, biggest screen in the, in at all the all the thirty two stadium. Yeah, he, he's the problem. That that's the problem. And take a back seat, relax, chill, no. get up. You know, chill on your yacht. Watch the game from your yacht. Watch the game from your yacht for a change. Don't even come to the game. Uh, Jay asks, much love, Uncle Ocho. Man, watching these young quarter, young quarterbacks teams put them in position makes me feel bad for Bryce Young. That's it. Ooh, boy, listen, that's a totally unfair for Young Bull over there in Carolina. Yes, totally yes. unfair for Young Bull, man. For what he what he has surrounding him, and that's no disrespect to what they have going on. But to go into a situation like that, you got to have the pieces around him for him to succeed. You got to. You got yeah. you dead you dead in the water, man. You're absolutely right, Ocho. You're dead in the you, water. you do. You do. 
Uh, you have to have an offensive line that protect him. If you look at Green Bay, they did a great job of protecting. And when he got some pressure, he was able to retreat, right. throw the ball sidearm, get the ball out, and make big plays. Uh, you look at C.J. Stroud, line does a great job. They can run the football. Green Bay can run the football, take yeah. some pressure off him. So you do have to, when you have, deal, have, have a young quarterback, you need to be able to run the football and to protect it. Mm-hmm. But if you look at those receivers that they got in in uh, in, in Houston, you look at the receivers that they got in Green Bay, and all they're them, young. All them young. They first and second year guys. Young. But Nico so Collins he, cutting the fool. Yes, I I, I believe if if if, if uh, Bryce Young gets some receivers, uh, get some some O line protection, I think he'll be just fine. Nate asks, do coaches on staff? that keep up with your tendencies and make sure you're not that easy for other teams to key on. Well, you break yourself down because at the midway point, um, we would all get a printout uh, and it says, okay, we ran this play out of this formation. We've got a break tendency. Mm. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mike didn't play. We broke everything down. How many times we ran it from this formation? Mm-hmm. How many times we ran it from that formation? Mm-hmm. How many times in this area of the field that we ran it? Yep. Down in distance that down we ran in it distance. in? Yep. Everything down to the T. So you could break tendencies. Therefore, teams wouldn't be able to key on. Um, and we, you know, we took teams off too. Now, obviously, we weren't the only one that was breaking, you know, trying to break tendencies. Right. But at the end of the day, whatever John feel, whatever your players feel most comfortable with. Mm-hmm. You'll run that play mm-hmm. because you want them to feel their absolute best. When you call a play, you want them to feel because that's normally what the quarterback has gone over. You know, okay, what you, okay. You know, you have all these plays, Ocho, you know, you have a hundred and some plays yeah. and the quarterback says, okay, here's 75, 75 of the plays that yeah, I feel I like most them. comfortable with. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. these. Mm-hmm. Then you get your first 15. Okay. You get your first third down. Okay. Mm-hmm. On your fourth down, you got your two point play. You know, you uh, you know, uh, your four minute offense. So yes, uh, Nate, you're absolutely right. Yes, there, there. You break that down, and you look at tendencies because the one thing you do, you want to break tendencies. Yeah. You see, the Cowboys, the Green Bay studied them. They know they like to have the big receiver, which is CD out wide, and he's the. They have a big window, so they ran Brandon Cook through. Well, we haven't seen on tape him hit Brandon Cooks as the first receiver going through. Savage passed it off. Now, the only thing, don't drop it. Dak's going to hit you in the chest with it. Don't drop it. He didn't drop it. Mm-hmm. Dang. So, uh, Kenneth Sims says, really enjoy enjoy the show. Ocho is a Hall of Famer. He played a division, mostly ran the ball outdoors along with Heinz Wars. It's not all about stats. It's about impact and attention to detail. They both played in the era with Randy and T.O. What do you say? I say you're right. I say you can see. <laughs> I can see clearly now the no, rain. Uh, 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 oh, shit. I forgot. My bad. We, we can't do that. We can't do that. No, we sure can't. Yeah, I forgot. Yep. Uh, Jeremy, I like what you're saying. Can you tell my girl, Kenta, happy birthday. She needs to give me. Oh, she need... Oh, he, you say. She needs to give me some tonight. I got oh. that blue diamond ready. Uh. Okay. Kenta, go on and do the right thing by the man. Yeah. Happy birthday, Kenta. Hey, you in a heap of fact, trouble tonight. Listen, you in a heap of don't, trouble, Kenta. Yeah. You in a heap of trouble. Sir. Hey, young young bull, don't let off don't, don't let off the leash. Don't let don't let you getting some be your gift. Don't do that. No, 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 nah, no. Don't that let her no get gift. away with that. Don't that let no you gift. getting some be the gift. Make sure she gets you some. If she don't get you nothing for your birthday. Boy, exit stage left. You hear me? I want better for you. Don't let him get mm-hmm. away with that. All the work you put in throughout the year. Oh, boy. Stay, listen to me. If you don't get a gift, I need you, you to hit my DM. We're going to get you one. We're going to get you right. It's 2024. We're not selling for less. We want gifts in 2024. We want gifts? Yeah, yeah. They, they, now we don't want what we've been getting all year as the gift, cause they love to use it. Look, they love they little who nanny is your mm-hmm. gift. Nah, we ain't, nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah. We grown. Yeah, who high ain't no gift. Nah. Uh uh. Boy, hit my DM, boy. If you need you need a reset, I got you. 
Yeah, I got be... some down here don't even know English. They holler at you. Why that? So what you think would be a good gift? Wait, I mean, basic understanding in the economy, understanding the times that we're in. There's so many ways to be thoughtful. Sometimes it ain't even got to be a, be about money. Create something, make something, you know, based on your circumstances. I don't know your circumstances, but you got to get something nice. You got to be thoughtful, depending on where you're at. I don't know what your money looking like, but if it ain't if it ain't looking right, you got to do something. Yeah. This is for the women out there. You know, you got to do something. Yeah. Stop trying to stop trying to get your little. They your, try to package it off. They yeah. put some lingerie. Yeah, about, Ooh, yeah. look what I got you. Nah, nah, nah. nah, 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 I, nah, nah, nah all nah, you nah. did was dress down nah, hoo ha. I don't want that. I, I, that. I, I don't had it before. Nope. Don't, don't I want something fellas, new. Fellas, stop falling for that. You've been hitting that same shit all year long. This yeah. is a day for you, special day. Mm -hmm. Give me something. Nope. New. Nope. Show me. Show me some thoughts. Show me your care. I can't say, oh, baby, guess what I got you? I got you old black hammer this time. I got you a black hammer for a nah, gift. You, gonna, you ain't going to go for that, so I ain't going, going for, for the hoo-ha gift. Nope, uh -uh. nope, nope. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Hey, hey, they think they they take a shower, put that little Victoria's Secret stuff down there. Yeah. And they like it's new. That ain't new. Yeah. I had, I, I know yeah. that. I'm, come on, man. Yeah, they drop, they drop rose petals out there. Who going to clean yeah, this I, shit? Who going to clean this mess up? You uh, done dropped all the rose petals on my floor and got uh, some candles. Oh, I'm that's good. fine and good. Yeah, okay. Good. I saw that in the movies too. But y'all yeah. you you gonna clean this up too. Cause the maid don't cause the, the cleaning lady don't come till Tuesday. And it's with Sunday. My, with my gift. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. What you what you what you spend on me? And don't use my and money. You take you take money. it out of and it's take coming out of a package. <laughs> Taking off lingerie ain't take ain't no unboxing. Uh-uh. Mm. See? We we think of the same thing. Joshua Romero says, Ocho, being a cowboy fan is like eating at McDonald's. They advertise to look good, but rarely taste how it looks. Also, Michael coming in like quarter to three for that paycheck. Michael be wide open by that check. Now he's gonna want oh, yeah. that money now. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't gonna no He's choice. a three time pro bowler, a two time first team all pro, mm -hmm. uh a defensive rookie of the year. Yeah. So you got no choice. You can't you got no play choice. With him. You can't and he play. probably and he like twenty five. How old Michael? Twenty five? Is Michael twenty five yet? He probably twenty four. How old is he? I think he's about twenty four. Young boy, he gonna he gonna see. He's twenty four. He gonna see two more deals. He'll be twenty five. He'll be twenty five in May. Oh yeah. Back at the Brink truck, baby. Oh uh, Michael, Michael about to get Michael about to get a hundred million to sign. I'm talking about no a hundred million dollars. I mean, sign him a hundred million. Easily, yeah, rightfully so, based on the marketing where we in the times we're in right now. Easily, and I'm all I'm here for it, yeah, I'm here for it. Nah, -uh. don't, don't, don't be on our side now. Don't be no, on no, our no, side no. Now. I'm from there to get paid. I want everybody to get paid. Okay, don't okay. get no discounts, mm -mm. okay, yeah, because guess what? They're gonna come a time, yo, players go, players go, they're gonna, they're gonna cut you, yeah, and they gonna have no sympathy, they ain't gonna have none. Then you hear that knock at the door. Mm -mm. So get your Play, money. Playbook. Get all your money, Micah. Get all of it. All CD. Hey, uh -huh. say my name's CD. I need to see some zeros. <laughs> A lot of them, Jerry. Lots of them. They highest coming. paid. They coming. Because whoever signed first, they're only going to be the highest paid receiver for a day. That's because it. you know, you know, you know, you know, Justin, J JJ coming behind. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Chase coming. A uh, Chase. It is what it is, Ocho. It is what it is. So yeah. I ain't got no problem with it. Get that money. Get that money, young boy. Uh, Red asks, really, really love watching y'all. Quick question. Why don't all team have domes? The dome is expensive. Buffalo, Green Bay. Wh wh because I want the advantage. That's the advantage I have is the elements. Yeah. Well, how much is it really an advantage though if it you putting your team in harm's way if the weather's really bad? W was it an advantage for Kansas City? Uh, yeah, a little yeah. somewhat, somewhat. Just but, like but, Miami has an advantage when the games are played in in September, as right. hot as it is. Right. But you know, you know what? I have a question about that. What's up? You think about Kansas City, right? Kansas mm -hmm. City, Cincinnati. <laughs> Other, other cold weather cities, I think Miami would have been used to playing in the cold if it was like a normal Kansas City day, right? But Kansas yeah, City, it probably, Miami, yeah, if it was like two, if it was like thirty yeah, degrees, twenty that's, that's, degrees, that's normal. 
But yeah. Kansas City and Miami were both at a disadvantage, at a both at a disadvantage because of the elements. Kansas City yeah. ain't used to playing no goddamn negative anything. No, no, no. So no. the 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 playing field was even when it comes to Mother Nature. Yeah. That definitely wasn't no excuse. No. They just they wanted it more. They looked well, like they wanted it more. Miami, Miami is at fault. They had a three-game lead over Buffalo. All they had to do was handle their business, and yeah. all would have been taken care of. They would have been at That's home. That's on them. Yeah. They'd have been at home in nice 70 degree weather. Yeah. But they wet the bed and boom, that's your habit. But that's the thing. I was surprised because you know Minnesota used to play outside. Minnesota oh, used to didn't have right. a dome. Before they got a dome. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Everybody, with the exception of Detroit, every everybody was outside. Mm-hmm. So, and so you know, you know Minnesota, that weather in Minnesota. Minnesota is dreadful, boy. Oh my goodness. That's like that's like New York or uh, 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 New England. Times two. Yeah. Oh man. Hey. Green Bay, think about it. You go in Green Bay, Chicago, Minnesota. Oh, Chicago. I don't want no part of that. <laughs> they need a dome because the goddamn Windy City, man, that's that's bad. Nah. Uh, Elaine Ray asks, no name and names, but they'll know who they are. What's the worst gift you ever received, Shannon and Ocho? I'm trying to think. That's a good one. I don't. So I, I I ask for what I want. I don't allow anyone to just buy anything because I'm I'm very peculiar on some of the things that I like because I don't want you really wasting big money on things that I'm not going to like. So right, very peculiar. So I really haven't ever gotten a bad gift because someone asks what it is that I like, and I tell you what it is, and it's always something small, something small and thoughtful that ain't gonna cost much that I want. No, it didn't cost I, much. Huh? It didn't cost much. Yeah, it don't. Yo, it's stuff I like don't cost me. You know, I'm cheap. Man, I done spent 10, 15 bands on you. You better get me something cost at least twenty five hundred, a uh, 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 five. Nah, nah. Hey, well, you spent ten, fifteen thousand on who? Huh? On, on a woman? You, you, yeah, you think I was better? Well, you spend that much on a woman? I have, yeah. Yeah, what? Well, you you better than me. <laughs> Shit. I just, it's I'm it's just, it's you it's know it's what, Ocho? I told you, Ocho, you know my gift? Yeah. Cash. Okay, 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 okay. That okay. way you buy what you want. Right, 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 right. Because, you know, women, women, women are iffy. It with, women, women, yeah. women are funny when it comes to buying stuff. You know, but you, you look at me funny and I buy you something and your body language ain't, ain't, ain't reciprocating. It, Thank it you is what it is, Ocho. Oh, hell, that'd be the last time. Yeah. Get what that'd you want. The last time. I mean, my 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 kids, my kids like you know. The kids always call my sister and ask her what we get, what should we get, Dad? Mm. Dad has everything. She say, "Well, he likes this. He wears this. He wears that." Mm. So the kids get me gifts. That's simple. Um, but me, like when it comes to my mom, my sister, mm. just get money. Mm. That always works. You can't never go wrong now. You can't never, you can't yeah. never go wrong when it when it comes to giving. Giving a gift and you, and you give money, you can never go wrong because it allows them to, to be able to get what they want. Yeah, get what you want, so you, don't, so you don't get it wrong. And plus, I like the fact because I don't want to give you give you a gift, mm -hmm. and you really needed the money to do something else with. You yeah. know what I'm saying, Ocho? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you take the gift that I do get you, and you go get the money back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, look, my thing is, look. If it's the wrong color, you don't like get, get the color you. Are. I I got to but I'm I'm done. I'm done with that. I ain't look. Just get whatever you want, and I right. you, I give you yeah. the money. And you can go buy your own gift. It's the thought that count. I thought enough of you to go to my bank and get get cash out and give it to you. Well, you better than me, boy. What? What ten fifteen thousand? Well, you know how much that is. I ain't spending that. Boy, I ain't spending. Boy, shit. I ain't spending name. I ain't spending Nathaniel. Not no 10, 15,000. Come on, Ocho. Stop being cheap. Stall them out, I man. Ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not being cheap. I'm just being wise and, and understanding, you know, if if you get if you spend 10, 15,000, that sets a precedent. So then they're gonna always be looking for 10 to 15,000. And you know, I ain't I can't. Well, here's the thing though, Ocho. Let me let me see. Let, that that might be a one off because the thing's not where they're supposed to be. That that'll be the last Christmas you get. 
hold on. Wait, so you spend ten, fifteen thousand, and then it's a one off, and then it's gone. Then you out your money. I don't care nothing about that, Ocho. I want peace. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Hey, <laughs> where you tripping? You don't care. Mm -mm. Boy, you talking like Uncle Sam, like you print money over there. Shit, I, no. I care. I Shit. print peace, though. Uh uh. I can't. Oh, so you can't put it right. You Look. know what they tell you? You you don't you don't you don't you don't pay him to stay. You pay him to leave. Huh? There you go. See, you don't you don't pay him to stay. You pay him to leave. But ten fifteen thousand that's too much because the Uber ain't cost that much. Uber ain't number ten dollars. Mm -mm. Uber ain't number ten dollars. Mm -mm. But Ocho, oh, the thing is, look, if I'm gonna spend that, if I spend that kind of time with you, you know, look, I. I Hopefully, you know, you think enough of me. I think enough of you. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend time together. You're going to protect me. I'm going to protect you. We're going to be cool. Yeah. You, if we, when, we, when we go our ways, we go our ways. We don't speak ill of each other. As a matter of fact, nobody will ever know that I even talk to you. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like what? That. You I want people to know? You want people to know you talk to old lady or girl? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying. I just, I just don't, 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 don't like the fact that spending that kind of money and that individual has the nerve and the audacity to go their separate ways because things don't work out. I, I don't yeah, like that. hell, I don't want them to stay. Well, do you get your money back? No. What do you mean you don't get your money back? So, so Ocho, you, you've invested bought, ten, Ocho, fifteen thousand to somebody, and all, and your money gone it's, like it's that. Okay, it's okay. okay during it's during okay. these times and these Ocho. in this economic crisis, Ocho. you can't Ocho. you can't stand to take a loss like that. We can't stand a, to take a loss I, like I, that. I ain't taking no loss. I ain't taking no loss. Oh, I'm oh, fine. It's a loss. I ain't no, no loss. I know you. I know you're fine, but you can't get that money back. I ain't trying to. It's two things you. Can't I don't get want back. them back you either. Back, you can't get back time. You can't get back that money. And I don't want them back either. Damn, uh, that's an investment right there, too, man. It ain't no investment, baby. She sleep ten, fifteen thousand. Yeah. Hey, come here. What? Ten, oh shit. That's tough, bro. So, and like, no, y'all don't talk no more at all. You don't even ask for your money back. You don't get the gifts back. You're not an Indian giver. I've never, I've never, I've never asked for a gift back. Oh, shit. Never. I don't want it. What the hell am I well, doing with better, it? Boy, listen. You know how, you know, you know how fellas, you know, obviously we're in, we're in the time now where you, you get BBLs and women want um makeovers and, and, mm -hmm. and, and enhancements, you know, breasts. Boy, I'm just saying, I'm just hypothetically speaking, if, if I was, to be with somebody and I was to help with the makeover and the in the upkeep and and uh in the details and making you look the par and yeah. feel good about yourself. You know, and and you think you're gonna leave me and take everything I paid for and give it to the next man. Uh uh, baby, let me get yeah. that ass and, well, give me that ass and give me that ass and titty before you go. Oh, you got me fucked up. You think <laughs> you think you finna have Jerome, you know, sucking on and and hitting yeah. what I paid for? Yes. Oh no, baby! Before you before you leave that house today, put the mask and titties on my table and go about your business. Then you can but see, go. But see, that's that's why you have to be careful when you do, uh, uh, breast augmentations or you right. do things for a woman to accentuate her body. Yeah, because my grandpa used to say all the time, "Boy, you be careful fattening frogs for another snake to eat." Ooh, what man? You know what? Where's my <laughs> goddamn? So you go to get them BBL and you get fillers and you hold get on, breast on. augmentation. Let me let me, let me let me let me give him a pen. Now that was a good one. Let me give him a pen. Boy, you know I ain't finna let that one right there go to waste, boy. I ain't finna let that one go to waste. What? Say that one more time. You better be careful, frat fattening frogs for another snake to eat. Yeah. So you get them, you get them lip fillers, and you get all that Botox, and you get breast augmentation, and you get BBL. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. You get the hip. You get. You know they get the hip. They got hip dip, and so you know they get that fixed. Okay. Yeah. Just know. Yeah. Listen, I I'm, I'm not even I'm not playing with you, because I'm I spend anything on any type of enhancements. To to, to 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 make you look at Paul so you feel better better about yourself, mommy makeovers, all that. If we don't work out, as God is my witness, is Jesus got the will, you leaving that shit with me. 
Take that ass out, get them titties, and leave that shit on the table. I promise. Man, you, baby, baby. No, no, you, no. First of all, baby, I, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to pay. If to you get ever, that. ever thought about it, make sure you leave it on the table before you go. She, she was. She, uh, uh, rail was already stacked before you met her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just don't, just throwing that there. But that ain't you. You didn't do that. She worked for that. Huh? How yeah, you gonna tell her to leave something she had? Nah, that, that's, she met that's, you? that's 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 I I put that work in. That that ain't nothing but the hips. That ain't nothing but the hips. That's my work. Yeah, that's that's my due diligence. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that was a baby. That's a baby that got the hips to spread right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You dope. You dope. You dope. <laughs> <laughs> you ignorant. <coughs> my baby, my baby, my baby done cursed me at about. She told me shut the hell up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you spill a, a, a real Die. secret. What time it is? It ain't number one twenty. She don't need to be sleep no way. She gotta say she gotta work in the morning. She ain't gotta go nowhere. She ain't gotta go nowhere. It's Monday. I gotta leave town. I oh, leave. it's a uh, it's a uh, Martin Luther King, the Dr. King holiday tomorrow. Bingo, it's a holiday. Good. That means the streets will be the streets the streets will be uh, empty tomorrow when we, when we go to work. Yeah, they will. That, the airport should be empty too when I leave. Yeah, that 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 definitely should be the case. No, nah, but oh, I haven't look. I, I mean, I've had women to give me things back and said, you know, right, right, because this is where they say, well, I don't want it because it, it will remind me of you, of you. Okay, okay. I like, I like that. I like so guess that. what, my sister, Rock and Louis and Gucci, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I ain't got no problem with it. Okay, yeah. fine, my right. sister take it. Mm. But I, but I've never requested. Right, had he bought purchased a gift in my mm. gift giving days, right, and says, "Okay, we break up now. Give me this." I, I've never been like that. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the Indian giver. Well, you you better than me, huh? No. You 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 better than me. I, I remember, I remember, I had the sixty four box of crayons. I had the sixty four box of crayons in kindergarten, and I used, I used to share. I had this girl. I used to I used to like. I never you liked her. Huh? Yeah, I liked her. So I had that sixty four box of crayons, and I gave her. A few of the red shades of the crayon. You know, red was my favorite color back then. Mm -hmm. I gave a few of the red shades and said, you know what? I like you. I want you to have this. And I seen, I never forget. We went to PE class and she was over there, you know, key, 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 and ha, ha, ha with David. Mm. And we came back from PA. You took the crayons back. I took my goddamn crayons back. You ain't finna play in front of my face. And that's where it all started. And from that moment on, I never let a woman play in front of my face like that again. You know, well, you didn't value what I bought to the table. I bought red crayons. You ain't bring up a crayon. Well, you know what red, the 64 box of Crayola crayons was back then? He might have brought a Capri Sun. But that was, that was royalty. That was, well, you was royalty if you had that 64 box of crayons. He might have brought, what? Wait, if, with the what shopping if, in the back? Yeah, what if he brought oh, Capri Sun and two graham crackers? He trumped you. Nah, nah, not, not, not in kindergarten. He ain't had that. They, oh, they he had them little, You remember them little juices, those little blasty little, little juice? Oh, uh, quarter juice. We call them yeah, quarter juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He quarter got juice. Grab, grab the quarter juice. Yeah. Trump, Trump your crayon. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Hey, that's a good one. Nah, that but I ain't taking nothing back. back. We good. I got you. Well, it, you know, there's some people that's like that. I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, just, just playing around. I'm, I'm not like that. You know, if you, nah. if you get something, you know, it, 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 you is, it yeah, is. I don't want, I don't want it back. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Damn. Man. Thank you for watching another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Hey, wait, Rock hold on. Who is this? Who is this, unk? This jersey. Who is this? You know who this is? Okachoa. Hey. He was so good. His mama had to name him twice. JJ Okocha. Okocha. The greatest Nigerian soccer player of all time. I just had I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing it out there. Just because I don't know you. You, yeah. you, don't, you don't know who it is. Yeah, I ain't I ain't I ain't, in, I ain't into no soccer. Yeah, he that he that boy. I just leave it like that. Go uh, ahead, you can finish. You can finish. Uh yeah, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports up, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 route runner extraordinaire. We've also pinned Shea by Laportia at the top of the chat. Make sure with the holidays right around the corner, make sure you go out and get yourself you a, bo you a bottle or for someone that you love.
to recap what happened this afternoon, the Lions beat the Rams 24-23 and, and spoils Matthew and spoil Matthew Stafford return. Now they'll face the winner of the Eagles Tampa Bay game because the Green Bay Packers did a demolition job on the Cowboys, beat the Cowboys 48-32. And by winning that game, they're off to San Francisco next week. So the Cowboys lose 48-32 at home. The Lions win 24-23. Spoiled Matt Stafford's return. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you again. I don't know when, but maybe tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Okay. We'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow. We on tomorrow? We on tomorrow. I see y'all tomorrow. Oh, I we got two games. We got they got two games tomorrow night. Yeah, at 4 30, 4 30, 8 o'clock. Yes, because yes, the, we'll the, see the you tomorrow Bill, night. Bill Steelers I, tomorrow. And I can ooh. That's gonna be worse. That's gonna be worse than Tampa, uh, uh the worst than the Kansas City because they say the weather is not is gonna be unrelenting. Oh, so it so, didn't clear up yet. Mm-mm. So what was the point of changing the game if the weather still because gonna be they clean? thought it was gonna clear up. And the, and the weather say we ain't cooperating. They should have just, mo- just moved it. They just went to a neutral lo- neutral location. Nah. Simple. Problem solved. No. Well, good luck with that. We'll see you tomorrow after tomorrow's ball game. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button so you won't miss. We're at 700. We're almost at 800,000 subs, Ocho. Appreciate it. 797. Y'all. 600. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Nightcap. I'm Shannon Sharp. He's Chad Ochocinco Johnson.